You've been on every interview in the book. Now you're doing one with me, Big Dog. Yeah. What's your name? Age? <laughs> where, where are you from? My boy. <laughs> Look at Fudger's room. It's pretty cool, huh? It's tight. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's made it sick. Is this um where you guys have all the podcasts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we were in the, like the yeah the, we're the living room. Yeah, we were in like the dining room little area, and then uh, we just like. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, I guess, I, yeah, I was like, all right, I guess we're doing this. So until you have another like, baby, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then it's your house, second no. child's room. No, <laughs> uh, no. Back to For, my bachelor fortunately, bed. we're good on that. I think, yeah, I think did we, you get snipped? No, no, you not got yet. snipped, didn't you? Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so you're snipped. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> how's your balls? Well, they're cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> you already did an interview about that. Did I? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I know. I love it. Oh, uh, so I thought I thought uh, my I actually my first question yeah there's a camera right, here. Guys right now live yeah. hey guys this is live to yeah. NBC oh, hell yeah. yeah my first my first question was what is what do you do on a daily basis <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea really I have no idea like where you are right what you're doing like you I'm like I see a clip and it's like it's nine I'm like did he fucking do that today already <laughs> like right. and I'm like I think he did yeah. But I don't know. And yeah. like, what's he doing for the rest? Of, now that he did that, what's he up to for the rest of the day? That's a great you know? question. Like, I, I don't like know. that. Yeah, man. Um, well, we didn't even do an intro, but fuck it. That's, I, 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 kind of, <laughs> well, I was talking to myself in here. I was like, am I vlogging? What am I doing? First <laughs> off, first off, congratulations on your edit. That was fucking amazing. Thanks, Corey. That was the coolest fucking edit of all time. It really <laughs> Thank was. You, so you know, much, it really man. was. And I think Vans, you know, um, needed a guy like you to kind of set the fucking, you know, just kind of for BMX in general, to just kind of set the tone for like, this is BMX at its fucking finest. And this is what this guy only you are is capable of and uh and it was you just fucking executed it and i let me ask you a question so <laughs> did, did you just over. did you just yeah. pull everything no <laughs> or did you sprain an ankle and take a fucking couple months off and then get back i think there was a point where i might have had a broken ankle and i was just riding i never got an x-ray or anything there was some there was some slams but you know me i'm pretty calculated you I'm are shit like if i'm if i'm scared of something to where i picture myself not doing it i don't do it so like all that shit, there was no like hux, like, all right, hold my breath and just send it to the rails. Like, I'm going to fucking do this. I'm like that too, but on a way lower scale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You know, I would love, I would have loved to have some more dirt in there. That was one thing that I really yeah. wanted was some trails. Yeah. That was like the only thing. Cause for me, park riding is kind of like, I'm so jaded on filming that, but right. dirt, I fucking love filming right. dirt. Cause I don't we, do it that much. And we missed the, this year's trip, but we'll be there next year. I know. East coast looked fun I too. Know. Pandemic, the world's been fucked up. So it was just in. I've been busy and shit, but, but back, back to you not getting her. Cause I showed my son the video and I'm like, he, here's the fucking guy. <laughs> and, and this is what, because he's in the skate skating and street skating and all that shit. Oh, and I'm, cool. like, I'm like, look at this. <laughs> this is what the fuck's up. And he goes, did, did he just pull all that? Or, or did he get hurt? Or does he ever, and every, a lot of people want to know, like, do you ever get hurt? And I'm like, the guy, I remember one time he fucked your shoulder up. But that was about it in about 15 years. <laughs> yeah. And he, he goes, keeps it quiet. He's he can, just like he said he's calculated. He keeps it quiet too. He don't yeah, really exactly. post when he's a little messed up. You know right? how okay. you're, you're asking yeah. him what do you do because all we do is post our riding clips and what we're doing here right. and there. But we're we're, we're pretty private, you know. Yeah. Right. A lot yeah. of times I'm laying on the couch with an ice pack here and an ice pack here, and I'm okay. not fucking posting that. I'm laying right. like okay. Yeah. He better. keeps okay. it. He keeps it a little tight. You know. I mean, that's you are human. You know. Uh. Well, you were human until that video. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, mad props on that. And yeah, I was just wondering what the, because now that shit, when you fall on that, some of the shit you were doing, it's like, man, it's like life or death. I mean, f- from my, from my point of view, cause I'm not, I can't see through your eyes and see like, oh, okay, that'll be easy. I'll just do, 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 do. I've done that before. I'll just compare it to that. And then a little more speed and I got Yeah. It, it just kind of builds on. So I don't, I don't see that. But, but that pretty- doesn't exist for like that gap to rail, like the, like the fourth to last clip or whatever, that massive gap to rail. Like there is no run up for That's that. That's why I call there that free no- drugs. That's the whole, <laughs> yeah. the whole no, free drugs. no free feeling drugs. it out. Cause that yeah. feeling of just. You run up to it a few times, and it's that that's that free drug of like. There's a lot of clips you can work up to, yeah. work up to, keep trying, keep trying. But like the gap trail and the, the whip off the roof, it's like you turn around, and when you turn around, that's that feeling you can only get when you're like, if I fuck this up, I'm dying. So right. it's like this crazy. Hey, arr, hey, guess what? 110 goes into it. Right. Like when you're and double flipping a dirt jump at nine in the morning, you're right. like, I'm doing this. I'm not going off the lip and going, oh no, no, I'm not doing right. this. Yeah. Like, right. 
No, I get it. Free drugs. But um, but but yeah, and and you showed in your last the last clip how excited you were. This fucking shit was over. You're like, I'm alive. That was more for that clip, not the video yeah. part. That clip, it, that was, clip was insane, like, huh? I had that shit on my mind for for years to whip off that, and I, that's the thing. I I just rolled off, and it was so big, I like, and I think yeah. I broke my ankle because it hurt for like six just months. Just landing flat in general. I just took my foot off and hit just the, the ultimate the ultimate hot pocket, basically. Something. Yeah. Where, yeah. Where and then it was on my mind, I, and I went back like it's in San Francisco. I'd been back. Oh, was it? Yeah, and every you drove time I, there to do that yeah, on that. Yeah, insane. And a few different times to where it was windy, and I was like, I'm not jumping off that roof in the wind. Insane. See, so I that's like, why I was like, it's it's just been on my mind. That's right. why I was like, it's done. It right. wasn't the video part. I didn't want right. it to come off like that because I'm already filming another yeah. one. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, the saga stop. of that clip. That, is yeah. done. that yeah. clip was a, yeah. a little bit of a haunt to me. Yeah, yeah. and it was like, and I, it should have been. I mean, that was like not humanly possible. <laughs> like as like for me, I'm I'm older, so like I've 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 like push shit to, to like when i'm feeling good i'm just like I, I can do anything or at least try it and ball ride or get close and then i learned from from being human that shit <laughs> snaps and it just doesn't work anymore and you fucked up and now you have to deal with that and then again and then again and then again so yeah. i've got reminded about how we are human but for the shit you were doing i mean everything you were doing i was just like i had chills and i was just like wow in the beginning in the middle and then the end and i was just like all i could say was holy fuck Thanks. yeah the only perfect. word that uh, came to mind was just holy fuck. I like how, I like how like Corey is coming in giving what all the commenters wanted. They wanted the Dennis recap. They wanted <laughs> Dude, the long cut right of Dennis's now, thing, I mean, and they're I'll like, get Dennis, get Dennis to talk about have, his edit because yeah. you laid yeah. low. You laid low, you know, and I love it because like Nora Cup had just passed, and yeah, like the video good. this and the video that, and then you you were just already on your own fucking science projects, and it just happened <laughs> to come out after the fact. Yeah. And it was like he don't he don't care. He's just fucking doing his thing, and and I can relate because that's kind of like my like I'm not really trying to be anywhere except for like wherever I'm gonna can be and and want to be. So I just saw that and I was like, man, that's just so beautiful. It's just Thanks. such a good representation. You see a lot of stuff come out right before Nora Cup, and yeah. that's why I kind of was like, I don't want to be, I don't even want to be around. Right, I'm like, you I'm, like I'm drive to San Francisco 21. real quick, get off the rip, like, hey, Nora Cup's coming up, woo, I made it. Woo. Yeah, I was probably doing that when the voting thing was like, right, out, like, yeah. right, yeah. right. So that was special too. You know, I just took all that stuff into consideration and um, and Thanks, uh, that, and I'm really sorry. Did. Hey, sorry for never linking up. You know, you know, my longest. We talk a lot. We talk we a lot. We're best friends. You know, we we respect each other. You know, and TJ Lavin's a lot like that too, because he's. I get me you and him, though. You have your life. You know, I it's you know, I will get there, but like, for for to Lavin, he's always invited me, and and he's and he's always like tried to like you know have us do shit together in life, and I I just never been able to be there when he's invited me, and it's just because of like my own personal shit, so. But he's never he's never held me accountable to that and like gave me like well fuck that kid he's just named it and came he's like all good I love True you that's a, that's ready. like a lifelong friend thing I have a friend like that where he actually like thanked me like got like right. like a month ago he's like thank you for hitting me up right. like I know I suck but right. thank you for hitting me up <laughs> right. you know like right. yeah like right. that's that's yeah, real man. you know yeah. like, huh? like how many times me and you have tried to get together to go ride right or something it's right. never like. Fuck you, Dennis. You can't make it up today. You're like, right. dude, no worries. Right. I'll hit you up in a month. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know the deal. Yeah, no, I love that friendship. I came and rode your jumps in Tatchby one time 10 years ago. You did. And I broke my sternum. You did. <laughs> you broke your sternum? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if I broke my sternum. Well, <laughs> Nasty's like, that jump's sick. And I hit it, and the landing didn't have it. It wasn't packed. I just, <laughs> In your defense, you like you like the real hard pack. Like, I'm not going to slide out. Like, if I fall, it's on me. This jump's not going to be the reason. And so I had it kind of like mushy and slippery it's for like massive. Trick oh, jump. I get it's you. Like, I get you. So it was kind of I kind of made it like cake batter and yeah. it's kind of sli so kind of slippery when it dried out. And he just kind of whatever kind of slid out and it it went down. It was like, oh, fuck that jump. Fuck this place. <laughs> and I was like, no, not you. Not you. Next time I'm going to fucking pack I'm the sorry, fucking biggest I'm landing sorry. and pack it down and fucking make it real fucking not slippery for Dennis, you know. But uh, And that was the last time anybody's came out. <laughs> that was what, seven, seven years ago? <laughs> so, was, like, do you ride with anybody? What's that? Do you ride with anybody? I don't. You know what? I don't fuck with nobody. <laughs> I don't. I don't fuck with nobody. I mean... Uh, it's just because of my timing. I uh, I have two. I have a kid, Trey. You know, mm -hmm. and he's 15 now, and he's just 
you know, it's, so he's amazing. He's I've grown up to such a cool looking thanks, kid. Thanks, dog. It's crazy. Just following your footsteps. Thanks, man. <laughs> he's got the little. Eyebrow, I, I, he's got I, the little eyebrow I thing. I call looking. him you. I call him you. Uh, he's skinny, but he's broad. He got broad shoulders. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> kind of gifted and special. And I'm like, dude, you're a little Dennis. Uh, and he, look, he looks like he's cool as fuck. Like he's yeah. sitting there, and I'm like, all right, he looks pretty cool. <laughs> 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 he looks like he's gonna be like an actor. or something. Yeah, yeah. He looks special. Yeah. Like, and that's amazing, and right? that's the battle right now. It's because it, he's he's he's. He's 15, just as like last week, and he's and he's 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 trying things, and he's yeah. hanging out with people that aren't aren't trying to be in the NFL. They're not trying to be pro skaters. Yeah. They're not trying to be like anything. Like fucking yeah, and and he can be, but he's got to like want it for himself. And I was hoping like my mentality as father would kind of be in him, but it looks like it's not. But did you have that mentality when you were 15? hundred percent. You did? Okay. From fucking the, the day I was born. You know, I used to be a horseback rider. Yeah. You know, I seen the video. You know, and, and I was like, like champ, state champ. And I was like this fucking dude doing all this crazy shit. And then it went, it transferred into BMX. And then I just kind of always, you know, try to do the best I can and just, just love what I do and, and just put all my passion and heart and soul into it. And, and that's what you get. But my son, he's got it, but he just doesn't get it. I think technology. Mm-hmm. It's a distraction. Uh, hormones. He's, he wants girls. Is it girls and partying? That's kind of. It, it's not really partying because he's not really allowed to. But um, you know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Dad, can I stay at an Airbnb? It's just, mom's gonna be there, and I'm like, okay. And I go to the Airbnb. Like, Where's the mom? I showed up late night. Like, Where's the mom? Oh, she just she just left, but she's coming back. And I'm like, okay, I'll wait here. She's like, okay, Dad. She's not I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. But he's a boy, so I'm like, all right, you're a dude. Yeah, you're 15. Yeah, I'm gonna let shit. it slide. But um, but my daughter. She's 11, and then she's mm. going to be stepping into that. T- and I was telling you, Fudger, because I'm watching you with your baby now, and you guys are so, like, special, like, that, you know, you're there and for everything. But, fifth, well, it starts when it's, like, 13. They just don't want anything to do with you anymore. Yeah, so I'm it's like, going to be crushing. Like, I'm like, you know, and I'm trying, I'm buying, I'm fucking, I just bought him a $700 surfboard yesterday. I'm like, I'm buying, he's got like four bikes in the garage. Love he's me, got love me. Yeah, I'm doing it all. And he's just, you know, it's just one of those things where he just wants to be with his friends and, and dress like, He's dressing funny too. He's got baggy, baggy jeans. And he's got <laughs> a baggy yeah, shirt, and he's got a do rag with a fucking socks hat on, a uh, like a baseball hat, fitted hat. You know, he's doing this earrings. No, he's just extra. And I'm like, dude, you don't have to do all that. Calm down. You guys are up in Oceanside though, and it's a pretty, it's like it's a scene, you know, up there in like in a cool way. So he's probably well, at, that you, I think you nailed it. Yeah, it, it's like it's 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 it's, it's ghetto compared to Carlsbad. So if you're in oh, Carlsbad, yeah. you're dressing yeah. like a little preppy surfer. Yeah, and if you're in Oceanside, you're dressing like a fucking Dogtown. It's like new 2020 Dogtown. I know? lived in Oceanside for five years. It was it's gotten a lot better than when I lived there right. too. And it 100%. was pretty it was pretty rough in downtown Oceanside, especially. It, it's not it was Carlsbad, weird. like yeah. you said. No, yeah, no. no I'm no. actually in South O, so okay. they consider that like. Yeah. Closer to Carlsbad, it's like, oh, yeah. no, I'm not in Ocean Time. I'm, in I'm South, North, though. North Carlsbad. Oh, yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got a methadone clinic right across the train station from my house. <laughs> so everybody from everywhere that had a drug habit, you know, takes the train right to like, I'm on Fire Mountain, but down below is like Ocean Side Boulevard and there's a train station. So everybody from everywhere comes to get their methadone pills and they're oh, all like wow. scattered around. I'm like, and my son started jumping on the train. Now he thinks he's like, you guys getting older. She's like, I'll oh, just take the coaster. And I'm like, you sure? And he's surrounded by all these fucking meth heads and all these heroin addicts. And then he's coming home with a do-rag. And I'm like, we, we good? <laughs> Everything okay? So, but does so, it, so doesn't he ride bikes though? Because I've seen clips of him like ripping, right? He can do, he's that guy that can do yeah. soccer, fucking football, surf, skate. He plays guitar. He, um, he's, he can do it all, but he's not, he's not focusing on like one thing. When I turned yeah. 14, I remember I was, um, I was like, this is what I'm doing and I'm not doing anything else. Yeah. Fuck it, and I'm 42 now. Yeah, this is when I was 14. 14 something clicked. You were you were uh, you were about 13, 14 when I met you. Something. You were the first person to ever give me money for riding my bike. <laughs> so let's what? tell that story. Yeah, let's tell. Let's that tell story. that story. First person to ever pay me to ride my bike, and I didn't even know getting paid to ride a bike was a thing. And we're in, we're in Compton. Dude, wait. Okay. So is, is, his, is his mic on? Because I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a little low, me? but what, what's, your, what's your number right here? Four, right? Yeah, four. Yep. I'll turn you up. Yeah, right, you're good. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, this eight, nine, ten. Compton legendary. story. Yeah. This is my, this is my condolences to like to like Dennis is like pre fucking you know Superman. Like <laughs> he was at a church. Sean Butler threw a jam, and uh, and I just happened to randomly be there judging. I mean, I didn't even know it was a contest. I just got invited, and then next thing you know, it's like, hey, you want to be a judge? I'm like, all right. 
and it was a sketchy ass dirt jump and uh and a bunch of just kind of like just just dudes riding bikes and then um, dj ellis there was like all the the young bloods coming up were in this like kind of ghetto ass what, was that, contest. maybe it was like 15 years ago maybe how, was how old are you now i'm 29 and i was yeah. probably wow you're 29 I, man I was, I was probably 13 Shit. 14 so makes it feel real do the math old, on that 13 yeah. to 29 how many fucking years is that, that i was probably 16 14 years, years. 14 yeah. 16 14 yeah. 15, 15, maybe 15. Years, yeah. my parents drove me because they, they remember the whole story oh, i wish your dad so was it definitely here. wasn't 16 i figured oh he'd be God. here i figured he'd he be here he said he wanted to come i figured he'd set me up with that blew it damn it he's the man so Dennis, anyways, Dennis was, uh, he had the curly hair, he was already tall, looked kind of like yourself still, but um, he, he came out of nowhere, just pedaling across the park, shittiest jump in the world, no kind of landing, just a little shitty fucking lip, and they're like, you want to ride? And I'm like, fuck no, I'll, I can't, I'll get hurt on that. Yeah. And Dennis came out and did a 360 double tail whip, like second jump on it, <laughs> and pulled it perfect, and that's back when double tail whips, 360s were fucking gnarly. It was yeah. my first one ever. Was it? Yeah. What? Yeah. It was the shadiest jump, though, Ryan. When yeah. I'm telling you, it was like a fucking a piece of shit lip to just a piece of... I mean, it was so garbage. I mean, it was like it, it somebody was good did to it. me, though. I was like, this jump's sick. Somebody I've never built got, it in I've a never, half hour. Yeah. I've never been this high on a jump before. I'm doing a three-double whip. Insane. So I was just like... And, and I'm pretty good at this. Like, as soon as I see a fucking kid that's just something about them, I'm like, that's the fucking next biggest kid in our sport. And I said that. I go... I don't know who the fuck that was, but that kid, if he sticks with the ride, he's going to be the biggest kid in our fucking sport. Mark my words. So the contest went on. Everybody's doing tricks, tricks, tricks. He just kind of shut it down with the fucking biggest move ever. And he wasn't even, he just kind of like giggled and like rode away. He was like done with even <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. with us. <laughs> and I was like, like, who won? I'm like, I'm like, that guy, Dennis Anderson. Yes, he won for sure here in there. Like, what do you have to give him? And they're like, oh, we're going to give him a fucking Starbucks fucking card or something. I'm like, I'm like, he's not I'm even like, old enough to drink coffee yet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm going to go to my car. I'm going to go to my bank. I'm going to grab some money. And I'll be right back. So I went, to, went my, to the ATM, went to the That's ATM, good. pulled out some money. And f- did I pull out money? Or I write you, you a did, check. No, you pulled out money. I'm pretty I pulled sure. out money. Imagine like, Hold on, I'll come check. back. And he I, I, I almost want to say I wrote him a check. I, I remember you taking off on your bike. And you're like, I'm going to give you 250 yeah. bucks. I was like, what? And you yeah. rode off on your bike and you came back with yeah. the money. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. This kid's going to be the biggest thing. He deserves something. I mean, I, back then, I mean, I was making money like riding bikes. So I was like, I was like, this guy is fucking it. And so that's the story and uh and then just like i called it you know you're the fucking best thing on a bmx bike you know you what I mean? call it that is that is a great story i'm i'm choking. and i did the same thing with pat casey yeah pat casey was at woodward 15 years ago and he was doing um just like just like uh i think it was flares flare flared like with something going on in it but he was only like 12 and i was like what the fuck Pat's I'm a like, prodigy, dude. that's going to be the next baddest motherfucker in BMX. And sure enough, I mean, if you look at him now, I mean, the kid is fucking insane. I was at his house yesterday. I can confirm it. Right? He's working on a video yeah, part right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to freak nuts. people out just on his ramp, just yeah. going nuts, like always. <laughs> Who else did I call? So it was you and Pat, and that's, I'm going to hold that to the day I die. Hucker but, was another one you took under your wing, kind of, like... Kind of. uh hucker <laughs> there's a story there uh but his, i knew his brother before him and i yeah. knew he was the badass and it was his sheep hills and his energy and he was just you know but um but no as far as like dominating the fucking world i, I knew it was youtube like i just i just did yeah. and uh and that and then somebody else i'll think about it later but um what kind of trophy is that is that for your, your son uh right, that was like a ri- that was like a ride trophy thing just like i think it says like 10 years or 15 years or something on tight. it so but props on um our bmx thank you it's thank fucking you. amazing yeah it's Love crazy it. it's crazy that uh it hasn't really changed you know what i mean like from what it was to where it, it was is. yeah you I mean, guys like, did it i'm glad you guys so. got together yeah. and fucking made that yeah. happen for yeah. us especially because i mean that's the you know it, I, I don't know if we need i mean fuck it but uh <laughs> the they let go the same the building the publishing company uh shikanned everybody like two weeks ago so if if we didn't get let go in early 2019 we would have been let go two weeks ago and like that was like such like a like a, because all the like the bike magazine uh tra- like snowboarder surfer all and all the, yeah they all got pretty much fucking internet i mean it's what? just it's a fucking i mean Nobody Who knows, wants to look dude. I mean, like they—they they don't want to sell the companies. Like they won't sell the companies to anybody. Like I guess they had legit offers for like single brands, and they are not accepting it. I don't know if it's some sort of like business write-off thing, so they right. can write it as a loss at the end of the right. year, 
or something, but they will not sell it to anybody. Right. And so same with Ride. Like they have no intention of doing anything with it and right. or selling it or whatever. And so um yeah. So all those all those dudes that I used to work with and, you know, men and women that I used to work with are, are now in the same situation that I was and, you know, right. myself and Jeff and, and Adam and right. the Transform Motocross dudes are all in the same boat that we are. And it's right. like, I had like a sobering moment of like, fuck, I'm so glad it happened back yeah, then. Right. You know, like, well, like I, the thought We were of all that confused like, on what was going to happen because, yeah. you know, but uh, it's, it's, and you guys didn't even really get your feelings hurt. It, you didn't show that part. You yeah. just kind of fucking manned up, came up with the plan and made it happen and just kept your head yeah. restarted kept looking it. forward. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it picked, oh, up, it picked it. up where it we had off. We had our yeah. cycle of emotions, you know, whatever the, the, the 10 cycles of, of feelings, right. you know, oh, denial, yeah. acceptance, sadness, right. you right. know, like I went through that, of course, 100%. you know, but yeah, we didn't but, see that. It's like you getting hurt, yeah. icing your, icing yeah. your knee or something. Yeah. <laughs> Hold yeah, on, exactly. I'm hurt. I'll be back. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's funny. But yeah. But yeah. We're still fucking And then here you guys somehow, bring Nord so. Cup back. That was tight. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And as I wanted to talk to you about Nord Cup without... No, 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 no. We did last year. Yeah, too. Last yeah. Year too. So last year, I mean, they're all good, but that one was super special. But dude, like, so nomination dirt yeah, of the year. Hey man, I'm psyched on that. that was when was the last awesome. time you got nominated? Uh 2002. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick. So That's amazing. it was cool. Jeff gave me a call and he's like, "Hey man," and I'm like, "I'm like, it was like the timing right around the timing," and I was like, "No way." And I saw, <laughs> I saw his name on my phone. I'm like, "Please." This isn't about Nor Cup. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? And I was like, I'm good, man. Just chilling, just cooking dinner for the kids. And he's like, cool, cool. And he was kind of like slow to tell me. And I was like, do, 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 do. And then he's like, hey, man, well, I'm just going to call you tell you got nominated for Nor Cup for Dirt Rider. I was like, yes. Dude, fuck so yeah. well like, deserved. Yeah. It, it just because, you know, there's really nothing going on for me right now, you know, or really, there's, there's, I'm not well, in you the made contest. It. I'm you not made in it. it. All you I do is dig and yeah. fucking ride dirt. And that's. Why and and another you guys had a you guys had a competition about that and I got in there and I was like well fuck man I mean you know because it's hard work nobody pays you to dig it, it's it's not easy it's it's always it's never ending no you know and like I said nobody pays you so all the time you're working like a ten hour day on a dirt jump you know it's a ten hour free day of fucking labor it's like construction yeah one. and nobody's paying you for it you know and there's a million guys you know, I was you know, real happy that I got nominated but there's so many dudes that we all don't even know that are digging more than me, harder than me. I mean, they have like, where's that place? Doyle rides. Um, 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 oh, I can't remember the, the name of it. it. Um, and I haven't rode there yet. Um, it's the Tosney's place. No, um, it's, uh, could it be? Mar it's a Tom, Tom Marcus rides there a lot. Fuck. Um, I don't know. Doyle's main spot. Yeah. Uh, it's got, you know, the jumps are big. They don't film there. Um, what, 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 well, what, no, it was. I'll think of it in a minute. But um, these guys, they, they don't even film their, their artwork. When I'm done scoping a gym, I'm like, look, this just took me a week, 10 hours a day, and <laughs> yeah. my fucking back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. And these guys are doing the same thing. You know, they got no money. They got bananas, some fucking like seeds, <laughs> yeah. a beer, and they're just diehards. Yeah. You know, that's our, and the, the whole trail community, because we switched it to that trail community, they are the Hazel, Hazel, Hazel Hazelwood. Wood. Yeah. Hazelwood. Uh, they are the most like dedicated, coolest group to like work with. You know, sometimes it's pulling with teeth. To get, yeah. Pulling teeth to get to, to get votes from people right. and stuff. And they are fucking in, you know, and like with the this year we're doing like, the testimonials of like why you voted for Maddie right. that one. And like those emails just shot back, right. you know, like they're all like, right. they like, I've never fucking filmed myself right. ever yeah. in my <laughs> entire life. But here you go, yep. you know, right. like so it, it's it's cool that 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 the trail community is psyched on it because it is it is such a uh it, it's totally within that community and i think it's it's super respectful that fucking in 2000 you were winning them bitches on based off of a different set of criteria yeah. but you're back in there on this on, is, on, this on, is, on and like that's a, good point because yeah. that is so much more like i'm so much more grateful for like being nominated in in the hard work work aspect yeah. rather than like what tricks did I do at the fucking KOD yeah. so it's it was yeah. two different fucking awards yeah, you know it is, regardless. It is but just to sure. be nominated it, you know this day and age and is it was fucking like really motivated me to fucking keep going because I'll be honest I voted for Cody Diggs just because I was watching him on his stories and he was just he's got the snow and, and it's cold and he's got water and he's got the tarps and he's got trees fall, and it's just like constant battling and it's, it's only he, when he builds it it's only for like four and a half good solid months and then the rest is just work and like 
like you know as it as it gets drained or flooded he's and he still can't ride it it's freezing out he like drains it ahead of time to like get it going for it's easier when the process yeah. starts in the summer so i was watching him and i'm like dude i'm like He's like, he's like, what are you doing? Psychopath shit. Yeah. In reality, like, really? I mean, like, in in order it's to maintain love, stuff like that on the East your Coast, whole life. like, yeah, it's, it's your whole it's life. Fucking, when you love something that yeah. much, though, it's your whole yeah. life, yeah. dude. It's it's everything, you know, to run a spot, your own spot. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's got some help. He's yeah. got like, yeah, some locals sure. and stuff. But you know, it's with 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 the shapes of jumps and with the shovel, it's it's a technique. So not really everybody can help. Yeah, they can stack and corner up and kind of help with like the the grunt work, but like the actual carving is is a whole different fucking animal. Like you have to know how to carve, really. And so I have a million people try to help me wherever it's, and I'm like, dude, you just, you just I can't have you help me. You just kind of don't know what you're doing, you know. But um, but anyways, Cody told me he's like, dude, he's like, I was like, I'm not rebuilding my yard this year. I'm like, fuck it, it's too much work. You, I did. Yeah. I said that. I said it's too much work. I'm fucking over it. I just rebuilt 420 trails in San Clemente three times in the beginning of the year. I'm dead. I can't even do my art. And he goes, don't be a pussy. He's like, fucking that's who you are. Go do it. And I was like, fucking fair true. enough. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're hundred percent right. And I fucking went out to my yard and I just fucking started chopping, just started throwing dirt. And, uh, and, and you know, so he, Cody Diggs, shout out to you. You inspired me to fucking yeah. get it going this year. And, um, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. People who don't know, too, your jumps are like four hours from SD, right? You're in San Diego, Oceanside, and your jumps are out in the Mojave area, Tehachapi. Yeah. That's your local jumps. And, like, well, it and is you build right them. Now. You don't even have any like crews out there no digging. Help. No so you help. get out there, have to remake them, and then shred by yourself. Yeah. But it's it's my life now. It's where I'm at. You it know? probably brings peace, like this crazy schedule and this crazy and you, life, and, right? And you know it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Well, with the pandemic, it was like, what the fuck else am I going to do? Yeah. You know, I was just going through a moment where I was just kind of had enough, and I was just like, fuck it, you know? And, uh, and uh, you know, it's just such hard work, you know? But And I don't ride with anybody. Nobody comes out in the morning to ride with me. It's, it's just kind of boring but at the same time without it i'm um i'm fucking lost and, and that's the beauty of bmx we're, we're all individuals and we all have like when you get a fucking shinner okay when you get a, a massive shinner like i just hurt my calf the other day because the crank arm ran in the back of my calf mm. you know when you get the crank yep. arm runs over like when you jump off those fucking buildings and you slip one pedal on the, the front yeah. of the crank jars you in the back yeah charlie horse from so Cal. we're all united by by those fucking <laughs> yeah. pain in those situations where nobody else knows like in, if you're in bmx it's like we all share that same like ah oh, fuck you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and, and no matter what you're doing like bmx kicks our ass and we all endure like the same pain and and, and we're all like united you know together by it does that make sense yeah you know no, it does um hitting our heads getting uh what is it called amnesia amnesia where you're like oh, what did i just do yeah yeah, yeah. and shit yeah. So I have to apologize because apparently that camera, I don't know if it turned off or I just double tapped it, but that camera was not running the whole time. So oh, no. we're going to have, oh, uh, well. ju it's just going to be you, your, it's going to be your face. Oh, also. No. So we need to see anyways. No. Until then, <laughs> By so. the way, the, 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 I said I would never do a podcast or an interview ever again in my life, but I was gonna say, man, Dennis Anderson, very special human. And of course, Ryan, I'm, all right, I'm all right too. Of course, yeah. Ryan, you know, you're yeah. at the top of the media shit. So I wasn't going to not come to this one. But, Thank uh, you for that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You've, you've 100%. done every interview too. So I'm, over myself it's funny, it's it's funny i was watching the, exactly was watching like, the what are you gonna say you know time. that i was watching the x games one and you were like had the fucking face mask like right here <laughs> i almost brought it in today just to cover my face i don't want to see my face i don't want to hear my voice i don't give a fuck but it. other people do yeah and okay. that's why it's so uh, cool yeah. that you came yeah. in it's to you know this. it's whatever you know <laughs> i appreciate it but yeah no um so what else? So what do I do? So I, uh, yeah, I love I, it. I, it's 30, yes. Yeah. I what do you do? I thought you were just avoiding question. it. I was going to save it for the very end. I was like, all right, that wraps up the podcast. Right. right. Like, oh no, that's what no, do you do? No, no. It's Corey it's knows what he's question. doing. He had that in the back of his yeah. mind. Great question. Um, I, 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 my girl is blowing up in this, in her business. Mm -hmm. She does title and she's just token over San Diego. And what is so, title? Title is like insurance for houses. Mm. So when you oh, buy okay. a house, yeah. you'll, you'll get a title on it. And she does that. So, She's got 140 real estate agents, and she's oh, fucking wow. needs help. What her job is is to make the real estate agent look marketing, make them look special, throw events for them, do all the kind of dirty work to make this person look awesome. So mm -hmm. the person gets more business, and ultimately she gets their the real estate's business back. Mm -hmm. So she helps them, and she gets paid. So she's got so many agents now. She's so busy. So I'm helping her kind of do all the errands and all the behind the scenes shit, and um, and then I have my kids who don't have school right now with the pandemic. Yeah. Um, and so I have to, you know, keep them busy. You getting on Zoom with them? 
No, I quit helping them with school when they got out of third grade. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their own. Shit's so fucked. I mean, he's sleeping through his class. I mean, yeah. The, the, there's no, um, you know, there's there's no everything's just a fucking mess and i think what they're learning isn't even really like the, you can't only teach so much to the computer so my kids aren't even taking it serious i'm like wake up pay attention this is your education he's like yeah. dad you come listen and they're just like okay they just point, like my kid's never gonna succeed this way yeah mm. it's not gonna work yeah and then there's all this time after school because it's only like four or five hours that then they're like okay what do i do now so i'm just being a dad yeah Straight up. I mean, and I see you. That's why I always watch yeah. your stories because I'm like, I can relate to it. It's yeah. just like nonstop. Dad, what are we going to do? Dad, can you take me here? Dad, can you take me there? Dad, I need this. Dad, I need that. You know. They both don't have their licenses too. So is there like constant? That's next year. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'll licenses. help you. Just be like, please <sighs> take yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. But I love being a dad. I love my life's changed. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't party. I'm in bed by eight. I, um, I take care of my body. I try to eat healthy. Um, are you totally sober? No, no alcohol well, whatsoever. I mean, you have a drink every once in a while, I assume. What about if we have a weekend in Austin, Texas? Well, nah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Dennis get together yeah. on a trip. Maybe. That was the last time we hung out. Yeah, no, if I'm away, if I'm oh, away from my normal, yeah, if I'm away from my normal routine and we're on the road and you know, you know, who knows, you know. But um, at home though, you got to go. But you know, just to be 42 and to ride 42, yeah, to have God the energy. Damn, looking younger and younger every yeah. year. That's cool. Thanks, That's man. Crazy. I'm drinking the fucking earth. You know, I put beats and, and you know, yeah, okay. you're, you're on the same shit. We're yeah. trying to fucking keep it going, but um, it's hard at 42. Like I, ju I just, I think last week it just kicked in. I was like, fuck, this is actually <laughs> harder than it used. This was harder to do, whatever I did this year than I did last year. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, but still, you're so ahead of the game. Most people at 42 are like, I'm old. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, and that's, and you're, that's, you're just starting to feel a little bit, and you're 42. Like, that's fucking amazing. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to progress. I think I'm just taking what I have, and I'm just trying to fucking just master it, just kind of finesse yeah. it. I don't want to be the guy, you know, doing the combos just to get, like, from start to finish. The, you know, like, and I love Andy Buckworth. He, he's a great kid. He loves me. I love him. But, like, just for instance, he just did it. He just posted a clip the other day, and it's like, today and he did like a double tail whip to a double backflip you know and it was just like muscle tricks it was just like rah, rah. and i was like Whew, i'll never do that again yeah i'll never try to put a run together like that well, maybe i'm lying i could be lying but, but you've done that exact same but that doesn't make it, me happy that, that, yeah you realize i'd that. rather just kick sideways these days and float sideways than anything but you randomly will just do a three flip to make yourself feel good all this uh, I, like I, whatever it is i, I can see do that. if i can do it i can still do it mm -hmm. but but i'm not you're not gonna see me do a fucking you know you're not gonna see me do a triple tail whip tricks you've learned that are just a little bit of a struggle like you can do them but they're more like aggressive yeah, no. and bleh. i feel healthy i feel good so it's there if i want to do it mm -hmm. but does it make me happy no what makes me happy is just kicking my fucking back end out straight up and people and love just, that so much and watching just you flowing do that. Just flowing. That's where I'm at. It's like surfing. And I always say this, you know, it's like surfing. Just an older guys can surf till they're, I'm out there with guys that are like 65 years old, still fucking shredding on like overhead fucking short boards. They're kind of out of way and they're just fucking shredding. And I'm like watching them like, wow. It's so sick too that you keep, you know, you're good with filming yourself and, or whoever, who is filming you when you're riding? <laughs> who the fuck's filming you if you're out there by yourself? Is that eight miles still coming out? <laughs> Who's filming you? I got this rickety ass ladder and I just stick my phone on it. Fudger's wife's back. This, guy, this guy's got merry maids? <laughs> Is that a. No, that's like once every couple months. Wow. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Dang, He's Fudge got, got the merry maids up in this bitch. That's tight. Damn, I thought that was Amber vacuuming. No, I was, I was texting her like, oh, can you don't vacuum? Like, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm not, yeah. That's, that's my that's my wife. My wife uh, has a real job and she makes real money and she's right. She's in the office right. over hey. from this. Yeah, so we can exactly. we can fuck with that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm so, with you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so Corey um, was saying how he's doing these lines and this stuff all the way out to Hatchby. And he, I was like, who films you? His, and it's his phone in his ladder. Yeah, just said it. Push play. <laughs> but there was a good. You there ride clips, by yourself. There was clips. Uh, there was a clips the other day where there was definitely like a couple of people shooting photos. I have a or new something. neighbor. Oh, okay. and he's eleven. So I kidnapped him. He's he's my instead of eight mile, he's my fucking nine mile. Eleven mile. I'm, 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 design, I'm designing. Yeah, I'm designing a new a new fucking little eight mile. Eight miles in Minneapolis, isn't he? I he's saw trying him. to throw BMX events and shit. I. He's cool. Yeah, he's, I saw him at X Games, and I was like, I was like. Oh shit! <laughs> there. Yeah, Shout out to Amy. He's still, he's, yeah, he's he lives there, so yeah, yeah, X Games yeah. has been like in his new territory. Yeah, but yeah. his mom just died. Oh. So he was there for a month, um, about two months ago. 
um, she came out to me and she was like, uh, she's like, hey, Corey, we talked to AJ. She's like, and she looked all like she was on Xanax and shit. And I was like, I was like, no. She's like, he won't talk to me. I'm like, she's like, you think you can call him? And I'm like, yeah, I'll call him tonight. And then it was Mother's Day weekend, and then um, and she killed herself. Oh. And and I was and I didn't and I didn't reach out to Amal because I already knew he wouldn't call her because he's always talking shit on his mom. So I was like, no, I'll, I'll get a hold of him. I'm sure I'll call. You. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day, like I went home from Tatchby, and then we got the call that his fucking mom died, she committed suicide, and then so he blew out, and I just picked him up from the airport and took care of him and just kind of you know love the kid. He, he did a lot yeah. for me, and you know, um, but it was sad. But um, so now that she's gone. They have new neighbors, and they move this 11-year-old kid in. And I'm like, hey, bud, can you push this button right here real quick for me? <laughs> it's random when I can get him. But, um, but so he's been helping me the last, like, month. Um, but, yeah, nobody. It. I, don't, I, I, don't, I won't go big if, if you know, I, I'll just kind of kick out and just ride around and maybe post a clip uh, if I'm by myself. But if somebody's there and I know they can pick me up if I fucking die, then, then I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this real quick. But, um, but, yeah. No, I love people. I just don't have time. I don't have time. I have my kids. My wife's got me busy. And then BMX. And dirt, you know, is, is like I said, you know, you're digging, you're prepping, you know, every time I leave Tatchby, the week goes by and my jumps get a little crumbly. So I go back out there for a day of advance, kind of fix them up for the next day. And it's like a three day process. And then I rush back home because I'd be home. It's like back and forth. And this is really fucking no time at all. That's, Between. that's love though. That is love. And, and that's the thing. Like I, I need to really quit riding bikes. Like <laughs> I, I really do. Like I'm cheating my family at this but point. Would you, no way. Would you still be able to be yourself? Would you be happy? Would you be, uh, you know, a, ple- a pleasant? Suicide. Yeah, come on. Straight up. That. Straight up. Straight yeah. up. No, 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 no. That's a, t- that's a touchy yeah. subject. But yeah. no, honestly, like without BMX. <laughs> oh my God. The fuck am I going to do? Yeah. Like it's a, that's what makes you. Uh, it's our thing. It's our yoga. Our, able our to be surfing, able to do whatever. the other well, you're stuff. You're 29 and you're on and you're, you're fucking, you're in it. Like you're like, you're right right there at the top and so you know you don't even notice yet maybe you do because you have an old soul but like but like as you get in your when you're 39 is when you really question yourself you're like i'm, I'm 39 and you're a victim of your own success because you're i just turned 39 so gnarly you're so gnarly that it's hard to get away from from yourself you yeah. want to keep fucking this is a good this is a good topic because i feel like BMX struggles with accepting somebody who doesn't progress anymore. Like, it, you know, like, I mean, a, N- Nigel always comes to mind, but like a, a Jason Ends or a Doyle or something or Corey. Well, Corey, it, like, at, at that's the that topic, sort of, yeah, that's sort saying of thing. He's like at this point when he, and that's why I brought the filming thing in because we love seeing clips of you. The whole BMX world does because a lot of people, they just like, no, one, you don't need to see me anymore. You don't need to see that. And it's like so dope that you're still You've seen that because, before. Because yeah, you're 42 like and people are like, yes, that's yeah. motivating. I want to, I'm yeah. not, I should get back on the yeah. bike, you know, like why the fuck am I not doing it? Corey's still doing it. He's do had you, way more injuries than me. Do you know then. who like Sean Yarrow is? Yeah. Yeah. Sean Yarrow, old, old San Diego dude. He's up in, up in Washington. I, I see his Instagram and he's posting riding clips and stuff. And he went through a, a rough patch where he just like fucking hated riding because he couldn't do the stuff that he used to be able to do and finally he found his stride and he was able to do you know find his happy spot and i look at his instagram now and he has this like fucking old guy cheer squad that's like yeah. fuck yeah sean yeah, and, they, right. and then they're all posting on each other's shit and, and they post riding all the thing and it's just like fucking right. doing little fucking bike tweaks and they're right. like you know no fan, that's all i fucking do too so L-T. like yeah, and it's just ah uh, fuck. He's got to be forty four, forty five. Yeah, yeah, and so it's just like forty four, forty five. I mean, it, it's I'm not there yet. I'm but he's 40, killing it now, and he's like, killing it. Yeah, you know, he's better. He's he's writing. He's doing better stuff now than he was like ten, twelve years ago. I think it's a game of like it depends how fucking psycho you are. But like for me, it's like it's like I am my own. I'm competing against myself. Yeah. So and you will too one day. Uh, but like you know, I don't care about what anybody <laughs> else is doing no. or how they're riding or what they're winning. That doesn't really concern me. I just concern like, can I still do this? Can I still show up anywhere in the world and fucking not have any problems riding any set of trails, any section? Yeah. And that to me is my goal. That and or can I fucking three flip this monster like now? Yes, that's and a nice combination. To prepare yeah. to prepare for that, a lot goes into that. But. But I'm 42 now. I was like, can I do it this year? I don't know. Let's go see. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm, fucking, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, like, I'm going to help myself be able to make myself happy by, by, by doing it again another yeah. fucking year. Yeah. So, so this year's been, I don't know. I'm breaking even with like last year. So, so it's hard to say. Uh, it's with, an off year. And I don't have, to, I don't have much year, time too. to like ride all the time. And, 
then again, it's almost good for me too because when you write all the time, you get maxed out. You get mm -hmm. demotivated. You, you're sore. Mm -hmm. You're tired. You're strained. You don't appreciate it as much, you know, when you when you have the ability to do it all the time. You know, and I've already been that kind of that guy and I'm just past that. Yeah. So now everything that's happening is happening for a reason. I'm just dissecting it and figuring out what works and how I can still be this kind of writer and, and, and put in place whatever I have to, to do to, to be that when I need to be that. Did, and, you, did you ever feel like... Um, you weren't accepted by certain fans or brands or something like that because you weren't doing those tricks anymore, or or were you able, you know? Because I feel like I, I, brought, I, don't know. I brought I brought, and, up, I brought up ends, I like and I that. feel like I feel like ends was like was was like he he felt like he didn't want to put his writing out because it wasn't the style that he it wasn't on the level what he used to do, right. and it's like, dude, you just want to fucking see an invert, you know, right. like that's it, like uh, they just want to see a fucking uh, whatever, an over tooth back over or right. something, you know, like, right. and it, and I feel like that's okay for as you get older, yeah, you know, you don't have to keep I think adding. It, Instagram new shit. fucks with your head a lot too, it does, straight yeah. up, like yeah. straight up, like you know. It just does. And like when you're older and, you know, and you're still whatever and, and you're just people aren't loving it anymore and you used to be the fucking man and, and like Dave Muir. Yeah. I think, you know, that had a lot to do with like he was this guy and he couldn't live without being that guy and he wasn't riding and wasn't getting the attention he used to get and that caused him to do whatever he did. Yeah. Colin Winkleman, fucking uh, same thing, blew his knee out, couldn't ride anymore. And I think that's why he committed, committed suicide. Yeah, I don't know Colin's story. I know, Colin, yeah. I know, I know, girl stuff was in there. But Colin, I don't yep, know. Yeah. same, same thing. So when people' career writing is over, it's all they have. They, they, they just don't want to be here anymore. Luckily for me, just to set the record straight, I have two kids and a beautiful wife, and my life is fucking great outside bike riding. Yeah, so I'm good. Yeah, and I live for my kids. But, 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 but I, it has like I, I, I can feel that. I can feel like fuck, dude. Like, like nobody likes me anymore. Yeah, like champion syndrome like, isn't that like an actual thing where it's like if you're an upper echelon athlete and then it's like you had this and this and this and this and now you don't and nothing gives you that right again right it's like you're fucking searching for right. it the rest of your life or right. or living in it you know 100%. so 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 that's weird. that's the battle too that's what keeps yeah. you motivated like you gotta fucking keep yourself happy whatever it takes do that and i'm a psychopath as far as like making sure that i can still fucking ride the way i want to ride and, you know, there's not a day where I, I feel like, and if there is, I got a lot of work to do, don't get me wrong. Like, and that's the thing too. Like I, I have so much work to do still to be better. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be better. You know, it's never enough. Same with this guy. And that's why next year he's going to have another fucking video. that's going to blow everybody's mind away that nobody thought. And there's a couple people out there that are those fucking people. Yeah. And, and then there's other people that, you know, they, they kind of come in like, what was his name? Mike Spinner. Remember that guy? Got yep. came in, did a fucking took a couple of twists and got a bunch of money and then. He's fucking gone. Peace out. Like yeah. he he's gone it. and he's happy with it. He's, he was okay with that. He's actually like multi multi millionaire who started this huge. He took that BMX money because right. he blew his knee out and just put it into. He's he's a, he was fucking weird for BMX, right. but hats <laughs> off to him because he was yeah. pretty cool. Right. And you know, like we're we're buddies and right. he's fucking smart. Right. <laughs> you know, right off topic. Right. No, right. No, that's, like, that's listen, cool. yeah. you're either smart and you went to school or you fucking gave it all up to ride bikes and mm -hmm. so there's the two outcomes mm -hmm. and it just it is what it is it's beautiful and it's not like we're the only ones i think it's every sport skateboarding same thing you know you have you have omar san i always mention him because he's older than me he's like 45 and he's just getting better more stylish and he's still taking hard fall of hard hits going on trips with the kids he jumps yeah. in the van with them so you know there's people like that and i just i think what i want to do is just i want to be the guy that says Corey's doing it at 42 what the fuck's my excuse? And if I can, if I can motivate somebody in that way to, to not go down that shitty road or do drugs or fuck up their life or kill themselves, then, then, then I want to be that guy to be like, fuck it. If he can do it, I can do it, you know, or at least try. I think you are doing that. You are doing I think, that. I think you that's are. My I, think you are doing I mean, that's my purpose. I mean, that's my only yeah, purpose yeah. in BMX yeah. that, and you know, you know, just the love of it, you know, I love it. No, you love it. And that's like, you have, when we're cra you're crazy like us, we have so much love for something. And that's what you're saying that like whole crazy, like suicide road, whatever, right, whatever, right. if that's the truth or whatever, it's like, you have all this love and you're giving it to the get good for the X games to get good right. for this video, to get good for that. And when right. you, when you don't have that anymore and then your Instagram and you see this Joe Schmo kid, you never even heard of that's getting more right. likes and shit than you. Right. You're like, uh Oh, what, what's the point? Right. Where's my no. love going? Ah. Time to get a job. Everybody. Yeah. But you Type gotta, of thing. someone like you, you got your family, your kids, and you've taken your love for BMX and like understood, like I can do it this way. I don't need to just like, yeah, I think it's there. important. I think it's important that you, you, you hold on to that idea that I think there's a huge amount of people that are totally okay with seeing you fucking 
just three of jump. More than okay. You right, know, like right. that's it. That's you don't have to three for right. that fucking thing. Right. Like, I came up like, with a move. Yeah. People yeah, like it. I'll just uh, keep sticking yeah. with that yeah, one. Yeah, that's sick, I'll dude. Just turn the bars down, <laughs> spin this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, okay, I'll keep riding. You know, because <laughs> it, it all good. helps. It's it you all helps. It all helps. It all helps. I love it all. There's people like BF. You know, I'm still one of my favorite riders. I haven't seen him ride in a while, but even an old clip, and I'm like, dude. Dude, you, I'm still riding because of you. And yeah. You don't even ride. Yeah. He did that. He did that approach that you're talking about, where I feel like he kept going and motivating the older crowd. Mm-hmm. He never, he never was like, oh, I'm too, I can't do this trick anymore, so I'm done. He's BF did it perfectly. And, and know, I'll be honest, shout out to my wife. If she wasn't supporting basically the whole family financially, I, I would be gone yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. So thank you, honey. Um, straight up. Yeah. Because no, California's expensive, two kids are expensive, life's yep. expensive, yep. jobs are, you know, when you maids get, are expensive, you know. This guy's got a fucking. <laughs> he's like, nah, I knew I. Sure. <laughs> we, oh, I think I think I saw a post that said you guys were hiring. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want I, in? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> so I saw. I was like, hmm, I wonder for what. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's who he's hiring. Right, right, no, right, 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 right. Come on. House cleaner. No, that's, we're that's, we're hiring that's somebody. That's we're, hi- in there. we're hiring somebody that remembers to turn on the camera <laughs> yeah. for the first right. twenty minutes of the right. fucking interview. <laughs> Jesus, that's funny. Man. So talking about current day. So you've learned a lot <laughs> from people like myself. You know, I yes. used to party hard. That's where I, I spent going. a lot of my money. I fucking let bitches, girls, kind of be just as have just as much love for women <laughs> that I did for bikes, and, and it confused me, and it kind of threw me off track mm-hmm. for like eight or nine years of my life. And you, I felt like, kind of just watched different people and just made your own channel, your own self into other like you've seen mistakes and you and you veered away from them. To be solid year after year, and, and it was to, pretty to, cool being like fifteen and you know being on the road with you in Germany or wherever. We're in Australia together for two weeks, and you just someone you know you're you were like thirty or however old you were. I don't even know, but you when were we were like, in Haro, yeah, we're going all over the world together. Japan, Japan, me, Japan. We did all this. Cool oh my shit. Yeah, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always had an amazing influences such as yourself. So, but 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 you're baby. smart. You're smart. Mm-hmm. Your dad. My parents. And he's le- he's level headed. He's level headed. For the most part. And that's like my son. I always compare my son to you because my son was like that. It just as a small child, he, he was logical. He was like, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, he was in, at the party, but he wasn't doing the part. Like he wasn't, you know, he wasn't doing what people were doing at the Not party. Not like dad he was who there. was the party. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was always, you know, and I respect that because that makes, and, and Pat Case is the same way. You know, there's a couple of you guys that are just kind of like okay this guy did that this guy did that this guy did that i want to be and it's going to take this and i don't want to do it and i let you learn from other people's mistakes and that's why you are the fucking man but would you take any and it's hard back, that, it's that, hard that crazy shit you did because you you're making a lot of money steven was like your brother you guys were like man i was watching you on x games you're like movie stars right you know you're on tv all the time right. and you guys were it, it was what it was that that road was set out for me and, and and your road was set out for you and and everybody's got their own fucking path you know mm-hmm. it's just it's just interesting to me to to watch people you know to actually be that good on a bike that it does take a lot of fucking work it takes a lot of mental strength it takes a lot of uh, it's very easy to blow it very easy to very blow easy it. yeah. it's easier to blow it than especially it with the girls and the parties and the fucking i mean and it's not like it's not like with a Playboy Mansion type of girls, but just girls in general and that life and that just, you know. For you, it was. Make some money, pay your bills, ride is, a bike. For you, it, it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> so, you your know, wife. it's hard to be disciplined. And so props tr- props for being fucking solid through this whole thing because that's the hardest part. Yes. When you retire, go go fuck, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Make some memories because all you got in life is memories at the you end of the day. You know I'm doing it. Right now. <laughs> I'm making memories. If, you, if I come across your path, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Corey. I saw I saw Dennis after like 11 p.m. the other night, and I was like, "Oh, Dennis, Dennis is you were covered in wine when the other last week." I'm see, you know, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> the white shirt. I'm just half I'm, purple. I'm, I'm, I'm private, but he can control. Yeah, yeah. he can control it. I like no matter oh, what. The sun's like, up. I gotta go, guys. No matter yeah. what, I'd film everybody else is like, is like, no, yeah, more important course. than anything. Like I'll have an amazing night. You know that, and then yeah. let's go. Unless right, right. Uh, Austin, that was hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I might have missed the demo. Uh, Austin. <laughs> By the way, I have a bar getting thrown up in Austin. Last That's what year. happened. We were getting taken out, but Cor- Cor- I haven't seen him in so long. He's like, you coming out with me, Dennis? And his friends run the whole yeah. town. And yeah. two hours later, it was like, well, this is the craziest <laughs> night of my life. <laughs> I could, I could see you two together. I almost killed Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> just 
honey, don't do that. I was like, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Colin, Colin's never text me again. <laughs> the guy who's been on bands the longest, and it was my first band. Yeah, we were, just we destroys were the, ones that, the newest Austin's, guy. Yeah. You know, we were Austin, the two that yeah. didn't make it to the demo the next day. Austin. I've been trying to get to uh, Ninth, uh, not Ninth Street, but um, uh, East Side. Oh, me too. My whole fucking life. Let's yeah. go. Never been Let's there. Let's go. That should be the next thing. We'll I love those do. locals. I love their fucking mm-hmm. angles. I love everything they got. It's like the totally my guys shit. are amazing. Like, love everything about it. But I've never fucking got to go there. Let's go. It was too hot. Or let's um, talk about going. Or I, or, I, <laughs> yeah, or I ran into my friend Jesse before I ran into the, you know Nutter and those boys. That too. Austin's like Vegas. It's, it's hard like to ride. it was a timing. Yeah. It was a timing issue. If you ran into Nutter for <laughs> you, <laughs> take me from the airport to the trail. <laughs> yeah, and, and, we'll be, and a tent. Give me a tent. I don't need a hotel. I'm just right here. So, yes. but this year my goal for 2021 is to go to Eastside. And ride my bike with a tent. Whatever Nutter's doing, I'm gonna do. Just pretend we're not in Austin. Just go straight there. <laughs> That's the thing. What else is like that? Vegas. 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 Vegas and Austin are that same place where it's very That's, very easy to get pulled in. I've been to Austin in. so much, yeah. and the, the mountain I've rode there is uh, embarrassing. What? Yeah. Vegas or Austin? <laughs> Austin. Austin. Vegas. It's, I'm better at Vegas because I grew up going there. You know, so right. I know. Stay on the outskirts. Don't right. Go, don't go in the middle, and you right. can ride everything. All the right. parks and street. You go in the middle. Right. Ah. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You're One thing leads to another. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, me and you, like, like that night we went out in Austin. It was like, we went, it's like, as soon as we go out, let's we'll go out and get some food and just have one, yeah, one some drink. some food and, then and a drink. The guy that owns every bar in Austin just ha- happens to come up to me and invite me to his penthouse suite. They, I'm like, well, like. They picked us I mean, up in that amazing, like, uh, I think it was I a limo. Mean, uh, just, my luck is so good. And it's, it's really cool. But you get, but you get, you get, everybody you get loves recognized. Him. He get, everybody he gets, loves him. He gets recognized or people don't even recognize him, but then they're they're drawn to him. Not even that. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah They're yeah. just more drawn. His energy is like, amazing. Yeah. Who, like, who are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I got a fucking mansion. We have a bunch of these. Yeah. Uh, we have a, you know, and I'm like. You come with me because you're going to make me look cooler. Basically, yeah, that's here, that's, here, that's here a reason. Nobody invites anybody else like to benefit the person. They invited they to benefit themselves. I'm like I'm here 100%. to ride. Uh, I'll, I'll go for one drink. It's like, has anybody seen Corey? So, but like, and but, Dennis, <laughs> and Dennis. But like, Corey's Japan, just like Come Japan, <laughs> Japan. He didn't go out at all. That's because we know because they always because I couldn't relate to anybody. I was speaking. There wasn't like, much to do. I was like, no, uh, we were we were going out. We were? We, were. we were. I learned one word. The car. The trip. car. The what? Moving the car. The what? Lifting the car and moving it. That, was I there? No, I don't think. No, so. I don't think I yeah. was there. Yeah, no. you were. Did you, I think you guys went out one night and something crazy happened. Yeah. yeah, we took the car, this little mini car, and put it in front of the hotel door. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't with yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't yeah. with you guys. So, yeah. uh, was it? Uh, but like, you, you were on very good behavior there, but at the same time, that's not his scene. You know, we yeah. we got taken out one night. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not my scene. Man. <laughs> he was. Uh, I just remember him coming out the coming out of the but hotel you liked one morning. Australia. Like playing, playing <laughs> like you had a little boombox thing. You had shorts that were so short that uh, your boxers were stages, hanging. Uh, that were, and you were wearing an insane clown posse t shirt <laughs> covered in tattoos in Japan. And I was oh, like, man. oh my god, it's I love him. Always been rad about Corey. I love not one of those people who just gets stuck in your own way and like I'm this person. It's like you do what you like at the time and move around. It's like I don't even pay attention. You don't. Yeah, pay, you just do what sick. you love and you just keep moving around. Yeah. That's a yeah, good. Sick. That's a good quality yeah. in, in a lot of ways. You yeah, know, like, I, I'm sure. It gets, I'm sure it gets you in trouble sometimes, but for the most I part. just yeah. I just got a. I mean, to be honest, I didn't have a phone for like eight years. You know, I was just like no phone. And then you know, now I have one, and it's actually distracting the fuck out of me. That you know, it's a lot more. A lot of it's business. You know, like yeah. my email, it's a little like, computer name, in your pocket. But it's now. like, dude, I'm like, I'm like always on my phone. I'm like this. Fuck this thing. Let's go live life. Yes, yes, yes. I remember when I used to bet when I first started at Ride, I'd send out that uh that Ride news email. And you were the one guy that would just be like, I got news, call me. And then uh-uh. that was his, that's how he'd respond to the email. <laughs> like, uh-uh. yeah. That's funny. I was always psyched to call, though. So Yeah, I was always psyched to get a uh, fucking email like, you know, from Ride. I was like, yeah, what's this thing? Any news? I got news. I just got my nuts chopped. Is that news? I can't have any more kids. They probably went in the news thing. They probably did. No. Um. So yeah, no, I'm just busy with life. Life's crazy. The pandemic's been crazy. Um, <laughs> so that was that was Jumps literally in. okay. Question. <sighs> that was one question. Check. <laughs> yeah. Which one? That was it right there. Yeah. Second question. Yeah. All right. Second question. Do you have two is, questions. Did, did, did Fudger write stuff down? Uh, those are Jeff's suggestions. Wow. These guys say, are so prepared. Dude, I was coming. I was coming here today just to interview you, right? <laughs> because I used to have a radio show. 
You did? Yeah. Yeah. It what was, was it? called fucking what was it called? Dude, you've done so much Nas- stuff. Nasty like, about uh, that. Nasty something. But um nasty show. And nasty it was it was show <laughs> kidding. <laughs> 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 You've had a TV show on MTV. It was too. called uh, what was my what was Nastasio's radio show called? It was called uh, <laughs> Nasty uh, Show. Nasty's <laughs> radio Nasty show. No, I've I've done a lot of shit and um, you had a TV and, show and I don't remember. I don't even care. Like I do it if it's if it's if it works out great. But my my main thing is bike riding, obviously, right? But all these other things come from bike mm-hmm. riding, and you kind of get caught up. And I try the radio show thing, and and if, for me. Fudger, it's hard work. Oh, yeah. And I wasn't getting paid to do it. Like, yeah. it was supposed to be one of those things that will grow and then have maybe, you know, potentially be. But I was like interviewing like the best of the best motocross, BMX, this, that, and the other, skateboard, and, and uh, even like just people, celebrities that I didn't even know. And I have to like research them. Damn, you were doing podcasts the right before there was even podcasts. Yeah, straight I've up. I've done everything before everything was invented. <laughs> that's my problem. Yeah. Like, remember that issues you have? Of, yes. Yeah, you, you started, it was like, it was issues was like a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to go to YouTube because yeah. I wanted issues was, to be you had your its own, own thing. Like, you had your own website. Know, it's all confusing. Like, it all came in so fast. And I was like, nah, fuck YouTube. We'll just do it on Venmo, Vimeo or whatever it was. And uh, my boy's like, nah, we should do it on YouTube because YouTube pays you. And I was like, ah, fuck them. We, we are YouTube. And he was like, Oh, okay, and that was AJ, <laughs> and and we did all this filming, and I had naked girls, I had like crazy it was shit, crazy. I got so much trouble for my wife because I had all this, you know, girl, it, girls and in, in ruckus was just seemed to be mouth for, guards. For me. It was it, wild, it was easy. To, the recipe for that was easy. One of the me. episodes you went and fought your mom's, your stepdad. So or something. there was a lot of shit in it. There was, and it was, it was, it was insane. Good. Dude. So if we, that, was, that was the reality, the reality show when I fought my sister. When I was gonna fight my sister, or oh, 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 when I was gonna fight my, my sister's <laughs> fight friend. my sister. My life's fucked for real. Well, <laughs> whatever, listen. <laughs> So a lot of fucked up shit. But if I if I would have stuck with these shoes and had it on YouTube, I mean, now it would have been because I would have started the day YouTube fucking started and I already had my my shit going and, and I just was I was just fucking I really wasn't into it. I wanted to ride bikes always. Yeah, and I yeah. so it was like, okay, let's do it. And I was gonna half ass it. And then and then I was like, fuck this. I'm done with traveling. I was spending all this money on like, like you know, my computer and the camera stuff and the kid I was making. I was had to pay the kid to film me. And I was you made all the shirts to sell and you money. gave them all gave away. Gave all the shirts away. Yeah. I love it. You know yeah, me. I remember that. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. We're over it. And then and then, and then, then there was people that started doing it. And then YouTube was like this thing where people are actually like doing the same stuff that I was doing. Like my kid watches all day. I'm like, son, son, you have no idea. If you would see my video, that would be And he's like, why didn't you keep it, dad? And I was like, oh. Cause your dad's an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. So I was like, "Cause your dad likes riding bikes." But um, yeah. So I got rid of that. The radio show, or yeah, the radio show was was just too much work. You know, yeah. you don't want to insult anybody, but you want to insult somebody because that's how you get people to listen. That's how you get ratings. That's yeah. how. That's what's interesting. You want to be perfectly real, but sometimes it's hard because you're like, "Oh, so yeah, there's this fine line," and and you know, like if it shows doing bad, then you have to like turn it up a little bit, oh, and try yeah, to yeah, yeah. cause some drama, and just and the same thing with the reality show when we had it ten years ago. It was like though we didn't get a second a second. Um, season because we weren't willing to fucking be fake yeah. and start fights mm-hmm. and bring up like you know just drama which is you know you make a lot of money if you do that's so crazy because I watched yeah. that and I would thought there was a lot of drama but it wasn't enough for ours yeah yeah like that like the uh, Pierre, were, Pierre's were, wife and all that's that stuff all they like, that's all they gave yeah. Pierre like that was all the drama but it yeah. was like yeah it was that couple was a drama everyone else was just like woo yeah. they want like they want shit to hit the fan they want it to be wild and but there's a lot of money in that but money isn't fucking I don't give a fuck about money yeah. I had money money if anything fucking is the reason why I fucked up a lot of shit yeah. So now that I'm broke, basically, and I don't really make any money off BMX, everything's valuable and important in my mind, body, and soul, and money can't buy that. Same thing, you know, with with you know trying to get. It's stupid, honestly. It's stupid because everybody wants to make a lot of money, and when you have a name like mine, you probably want to try to use it. But I I ain't jumping to mountain bikes. I'm not making fucking a t-shirt company. I'm not making a, a brand. I'm not trying to make anything to sell off my name because I don't give a fuck about money. Yeah. I just want to ride bikes and I want to ride them good and I want to feel good about myself riding bikes and I want to be a good father. And that to me is worth fucking a trillion dollars. That's beautiful. That's you admirable. know these things yeah. and that's that's what it is right there. It took a long time to get there though. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> it's a long path. I'm it took sure. a long time yeah. to get there. And that's part of the Some people will never get there, so you yeah. already got there. That's so a, that's already ahead of the curve. I, you know? I, I want to ask the question what was your best year? How much how much money did you make in your in, in your best year? How much money did you spend? Probably three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, and that was. I mean, did you spend four hundred thousand? I I fucked up. You know, <laughs> yeah. real estate. I bought. Yeah. You know, I bought some real estate. Probably then the, the market kind of crashed on me in, in 08, Took two houses of mine. 
took all my equity, about a million dollars in equity. Mm. Wait, so, what? So you bought these houses and, and then the, the whole the thing bubble. just from from two thousand to two thousand eight, I was I was buying real estate and then two thousand eight just crushed my equity. That's and when everything my, my, yeah. my mortgage went up and my equity uh, disappeared. Did you have a uh, a floating APR or whatever it is? Like so did the rate go up or something? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, on both houses. So yeah. I just threw the keys to the door and I said, Fuck it, I'm gonna go to Tatchapee and just dig wow. and just live out there and put all the money I do have away and live low cost and just just ride and get off kind of drugs and just kinda of fucking like get my shit back because I was just you know, it's just it's just um so much when you You were you were around a scene of other people doing the same shit too, right? 100%. Uh, yeah, it was just a hundred percent. You know, when you have you are who you hang out with. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. That's that's it. So um, but yeah, no. So, so yeah, I, uh, I made a lot of money as, some, as far as like salaries and like bonuses and this and that when I was in the contest scenes, you know, it was, it was like 300 grand, you know, and I was only like 21. That's, yeah. That's, you know? that's a lot of money, especially, especially 21. Like that's guardian. 40. I mean, that well, shit literally ex- double your age now. Shit wasn't expensive. Yeah. Back so then, like yeah. it is now, I mean, I bought my house for $240,000. It's worth the one with the ramp and the jumps. It, it's worth a million two in yeah. Riverside. Wow. Fuck. That was a mansion. So yeah. if I would have just stayed there, my, my a dad like you or a mom like you, that would say, "Listen, here's what you're gonna do because yeah. this shit ain't gonna last forever. Put your money and stay in this house. Don't move. You don't need to move. You have all your shit here. Stay here." And blah blah blah. And I had a little somebody in my corner. I would have been like, "Okay," and I would have been really well off as far as money. But not, I mean, fucking him again. You know, like his parents are like, "Oh, you started making money. Like buy this house down the road from us. You know, like you bought it for probably three hundred thousand dollars. Hundred percent. You know, and it's not not 100%. it's not a mansion, but like it's worth but like you said, more you than know, double. You those people in your corner because I would never have known all that stuff. Exactly. My parents yeah. are dope and yeah, they're yeah. fucking. And they helped a lot. They were smart. What was what was like the fucking besides the houses, obviously because you lost your ass, but like what was like the dumbest purchase? Where you're like not a, like a fucking bangle. Probably tiger my Mercedes. I bought an S five hundred and I spent one hundred and ten thousand dollars on it, Jeez. and it had. Like Whoa! One hundred ten thousand, and I spent, Spam. and I, I had only That's eighty thousand miles on it, and I thought it was too many miles, yeah. and I fucking just, I spent, I put a hundred thousand dollars down on payments over like five years. I only had eighty thousand miles, and then it was, it was kind of like it was old at that point. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I just spent one hundred twenty thousand dollars on wow. Mercedes. Five years went by. It's got eighty thousand miles, and it's old. It's not even the new one. So I threw the fucking keys back at that guy, and I was like, here, take it. I don't even want it. And I only owed like six thousand dollars left for it to be paid off. And yeah. I was like, I ain't paying. It was thirteen hundred dollars a month for the car, and I was like, fuck it, take it. I don't want it. And I, so you my, didn't even get money back for it? No. No, I didn't even you, you, you just said, take this. I don't want to finish paying thirteen hundred. I only had six. Yeah, I only had six thousand dollars more to pay on it at thirteen hundred a month. <laughs> You're so and crazy. I was just like, "Fuck it, I don't want this shit." That was pretty dumb, right? Yeah. Um, but I was just a fucking kid. I didn't yeah. give a fuck. I mean, That's I'm crazy. making money riding bikes, so it's not a job. You're I'm sponsored by like you're sponsored by like Kicker and like random shit back then. I, I just want right? to say like I want to say like we're so lucky to fucking make money riding bikes it's in general. Such a bonus. For real. It's fucking insane. I mean, I had the best career. A fucking of all time the longest and i've and i've been taken care of by jerry batters thank you i love you heart and soul you've been on vans the longest rock star steve mateus fucking always pays me i mean these guys take care of me um all the other sponsors i've had in the past just because i ride a fucking bike a bicycle you know so i'm blessed i mean i'm so lucky you know there's no bitterness it's like you know for us to get paid to ride to do what we love i never started this sport thinking oh i want to make a bunch of money and buy a mercedes i just like was like okay and you know, I'm speaking to somebody that's in my shoes, you know, you know, behind, you know, be, you know behind me, but really. That's probably why a lot of people blow it because they, you, we're doing what we love and then they're, you're just getting, it almost feels like free money instead of sitting in a cubicle working. You're like, you, oh, I need to save yeah, this like, for us. Oh, I like, wasted all the money, but really it was free money. Someone exactly. gave it to me. Yeah, I was like, fuck yeah, it. Also, you grew up, hard you grew up, you grew up pretty, like right. pretty poor too, right? Essentially. Well, when I was younger, we were rich, and then my parents split up, and then it was kind of struggles time. Okay, yeah. I remember you told me you're like, I'm from the trailer park. I ain't scared to go back to the trailer park. That I was a quote actually, I always remembered from you. I was like, this I was actually, crazy. I was actually a rich little fucker until about twelve. My parents got separated. My mom became a drinker, and fucking my dad like split, split, and then my mom was kind of struggling, and I was just kind of, you know, with her, and I was just going through whatever she was going through, and then in trailer park, yeah, and then, and then at seventeen, I moved to California, grabbed my bike, and said. Bye, mom. And never went back to fucking Florida. Never went back. And I just, you know, I had that whole life. I just made it, you know. And that's what I'm thinking for my kid. I hope, I hope he can, at 17, he's only 15, he's 15 now. So in two more years, is he going to be able to jump in a car like me and take off to another country or state and just make it fucking happen? Would he doesn't you, really would need you let to him? Here. That's my goal. 
Yeah. That's what I want for him because yeah. I, I had the best life ever. Yeah. I, but I took a chance. It worked out and no regrets. But yeah. um, but I want that for him too. I don't want him to have to work. In, you know, working sucks, right? Like a real job. A like, job you don't like. You're not. You're barely getting paid, barely making it by. You're, all your time's dedicated to some shit you don't even like. And years just fly by and then you fucking die. What was that? Uh, Mike Michael posted uh, a little Jim Carrey quote yesterday that was like, "I was like, oh, that hits pretty hard." It was like uh, basically talking about his dad, and he and he took a didn't take a risk and was an accountant, and after a few years, he got fucking fired. And he's like, "You can fail at something you don't want, so you might as well <laughs> you might as well fail at something like you that. want." Cool. You know, yeah, I it's like, like I was like, "Damn, that's some 100%. fucking words." Right that there. guy. So, speaking of him, fuck, he does the most. Huh? Michael, I tell I I, I, I see him and I'm like and I'm like. How how are you here? I just thought you were fucking there. Like you yeah. know, he's Social literally. He's just. He's oh, just, do you follow him? No. Oh, bro, Michael Laren. This Michael Laren. Yeah. You don't follow Michael. No. I don't really. Dude, he Michael just started. He did. I had to get him to even go on Instagram. I don't know. I'm pretty if he fo- sure. He, I don't think he follows me he either. Didn't, like, so. He didn't do Instagram until like four years ago. Yeah. Then he followed nobody. I'm like, dude, part of Instagram is cool, um, Dennis, because you can see what everyone else is doing. <laughs> exactly and he goes, right. he goes, he goes. Oh yeah, all right, all right, cool. And then like that night, he's got like two hundred people all of a sudden. And I'm like, fuck yeah! No. And then he's like, you see, I can see he's liking the same likes that I'm liking. So I can see his name. I'm like, dude, he's in it now. He's I probably went it. on nasty thing. I was like, I'm gonna follow the people he's following. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably weren't following Michael back then. So it was so just, sick. Yeah, so Michael is just out there, man. He's just he's, he's great, literally he's just cool like, he rides he rides, he rides like five he rides like five, five spots a day. day. Wow. Yeah, literally, like he's just uh, all and he, and then he races. He races at at Kearney too. A curb, a vert ramp, a fuck. And yeah, you name it, he's doing it he's all in the same right. day. Yeah, wow. It's like, fuck, man, he's out there the most. Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, sorry for the sidetrack there. No worries, that's but, sick. Uh, I'm not like that. Uh, Simon Tabron. Oh yeah, fuck, dude. One of the Shout best dudes in the world. Shout yeah. out to you, baby. Good call out. Love yeah. you. Yeah, fuck, fuck man. man. I heard he's he's, he's home pretty well. He's, he's home with the family. He's home with the family. Is he? Yeah, he just that that update just happened uh, yesterday. I think. I think I I saw that. So. Home of the family, obviously a long road ahead. I think speech speech is the biggest issue. Mm-hmm. So, um, which is, I, I mean, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I shed a tear when I read that because I like, dude, I was like, Simon was the most like eloquent, amazing, smart, like quick witted fucking I didn't know dude on the ramp. Nasty, and it's but like, when I was a kid, he was like, same as you, just yeah. was so nice to me and just like yeah. always words of wisdom. There's like, if he's one of those guys, if someone said something bad about him, you'd be like, there's something wrong with you. You yeah. know, like yeah. Simon is yeah. such a good dude. Yeah. So. It, it, it hit it, when I, when I, Where, where'd you read that yesterday? Uh, it was on his GoFundMe. It was an update. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, when I read that, I was like, fuck, if you Just got a couple bucks but, to spare, man, yeah. Simon and his family could really use it. Cause his, his, one of his yeah. children had a heart, heart, heart transplant, heart transplant. And then Simon just went through some, yeah. I, I mean, I'm hoping that obviously he can make a full recovery and stuff like that. Uh, I think I, it seems like he is. If he's out of the hospital now, then he's obviously in a in a in a good spot to to get where he needs to be. So time, yeah. yeah, so I, I I believe they fixed the heart issue, and uh, and the stroke is what he's dealing with now. So. He was just filming a sick vert at it too. Yeah, like was going in on it. Yeah, that's why I'm so blessed, uh, and and, and just. And just happy to be healthy and alive. Yeah. Yes. Nothing matters to me. Like nothing. Yeah. Except for at this day and age with all the shit we're aware of so quick. The news. All this Blech. fucking crazy shit. Blech. I'm like, I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I surrender. Like I don't give a fuck about anything or like like except for like my health. Like I'm just grateful for like being able to move, hug, yeah. work. Yeah. If, give me a regular job. Give me whatever. I'll I'm just and you just all these things are put put in my head makes me, you know, puts in perspective of like, you know, the, the things I never thought about that I was lucky to have is the only things that I think about now. And it's because of all these fucking people I grew up with dying or getting hurt. Mike Yick and Brett Benner sandwich. I mean, I, I grew up with these kids and, and, and they're life changing and, and kids the, the, in our sport now don't even really know these people that got hurt. Yeah. And I, I've watched cause I'm older. So I've literally watched, two of the best. I've watched everything yeah that Stephen murray i mean i've yeah, watched Stephen. everything I, i've 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 made the i've said it a couple of times not not on, publicly on the podcast but i felt that uh brett getting hurt uh hurt bmx as a whole because i felt like he was going to be like a sheckler for bmx like i felt like he was so personable and he was so good and he was such a fucking rosy cheeked 
like good looking That's little sixteen I, year I old kid. Thing. I always thought he was and the next he was Dave like Bieber. I was like Justin yeah. Bieber. Yeah, Justin yeah. fucking Bieber looking backflip, you know, whatever, fucking cash roll whipping motherfucker that he was like they're like, Oh, we're gonna give this kid a fucking T V show. Yeah. And like and he's gonna blow up and I and and I just felt like he were was you there on that weekend? No, thankfully. I've never been I haven't been there. I was in Vegas for Scotty's crash. Like he, not like even, for I, we him. were we did the the Can Am things like across the desert and then he flew in and they rode they went riding while we were we were driving into town so it happened like two hours before I got so there, I was so. there and I I was on the deck and he was doing seven twenties in the wind on yeah. a narrow ass ramp narrow and I looked ramp. at him and I go hey and he's the man I didn't want to take that away from him but I go hey don't do seven twenties in the wind right now it's yeah. the fucking ramp thing. and he goes huh. It's cool, nasty, and he dropped in. He did the seven twenty. Like alley oops, right up. Like I was like, don't do it right now. Like we know you're the best. You're gonna win this. You're, you're the man. But yeah. just just chill right now though, because I don't want to get hurt. Went to go get a hot dog up the street after I told him that. I come back and he he, he did a seven twenty. Fell off the side of the ramp and fucking never was the same. Yeah. And and I'm the la- I'm like I'm like the last one that said don't do that. Yeah. Left to get a hot dog. Came back. Yeah. I've been in so many weird situations. I know. Like, so you just, been, I was just about to say that with the with the I'm like with always the eight there. miles mom Dude. and stuff like that. Oh god, yeah, fucking, it was yeah, way beyond so, that. Yeah. I wasn't there for Steven's crash. Yeah, um, that would, but I was there through his whole fucking recovery. Dude, yeah. gnarly. Yeah. And so how's when he, I see when I see doing? a video we, come out like you, I'm like, I mean, mm-hmm. against all odds, you are the fucking man. And, and I know you're smart. <laughs> well, I know. I know it's you're getting s- heavy, but I know you're smart about it too, though, because like you, you prep, you think, you know, you don't, you don't take anything that's gonna fuck, fuck, fuck with you, you know. And, and you're the best athlete in the world. <laughs> well, as far as BMX, hey, everybody well, well, out there. No, well, let's look at. Will agree with me. No, I mean, you're not. You don't need to do devil backflips. You don't need to do a fucking casual. Well, you are just the coolest motherfucker. <laughs> Thanks, man. Straight up. You're the man. You are, man. Well, thinking about, let's, totally, yeah, hard, let's change hard, that subject. It's hard to take that kind of I mean, he's a, yeah, he's all right. Dude. He's all right. Uh, he's like, all right. I go to you for, for Nord Cup every fucking year. When, and whenever you yeah, send me an yeah. email, what do I do? Yeah, Dennis. I don't know anybody. I don't care. <laughs> Dennis. He wins it all. Right? Like, you know, I don't really pay attention to much, but when you fucking speak, I listen. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's. Did you vote for Dennis this year? Yes. For, the last one was for everything. Who's your overall? Oh yeah, and I said Dennis. For there was all. there was somebody there was somebody that voted this year was like they whoever they voted for and they were like sorry Dennis like right <laughs> in there and I was like oh, is it Corey I'm like, fuck no, no. I don't yeah. give shit about Hell that no. but thank you for no. voting for me I voted for for Dennis Chase Hawk mm-hmm. um and uh, Cody that's sick yeah. was there what other characters? and then the video parts like I didn't want to throw in no, a yeah, I wasn't sure it. about yeah, actually Dax part I watched Dax part I, and, and I it was like one of the only street videos I watched all year and I was just I thought he was fucking just he was just strong and everything was just cool and I like, like yeah, yeah that kills it talking about injuries though like we're just so lucky to be alright it doesn't matter because because Steven fell doing a trick he always does Brett did too Scotty fell in a hole you know, it's like that's why you gotta just take every day for granted because yeah. you can you can fuck yourself up yeah. on a huge banger, or you know you can slide out in your car coming home one night completely sober, or whatever, that's and it. fucking die. That's it. So it's like it's every life. single thing life. is great. That's why life. you need to this whole f- looking at your screen thing and being yeah. so negative about everything. Yeah. It's it's great to make changes. Peace and love. Man. Peace and love. Exactly. Peace and love. And if you can't change anything, then just go about your life and try and make the shit around you great. Peace and love. There is no more room for fucking just negativity. It's at this done, point, dude. Bro. Everyone needs you to know? stop that shit. I don't do they what in BMX? No, no, just in just, general. Just, life. Life. just yeah. news is just yeah. news. If you just want, if you want to f- actually watch the news and be like, what's going on? It's like yeah. it's not going to be the good shit, yeah. which sucks. And it's great to try and change things yeah. if you can. But the whole just talking shit on the the bad thing yeah. is like, yeah. Ugh, yeah. I don't, I can't Dude. even be with those Dude. people anymore. No. This, the the, te- the screens are. Ugh. Right. BMX Instagram, I love that. Right. BMX is fucking right. sweet. The action sports, all that. But right. if you like really we're gonna look at these news channels, you're gonna fucking Yeah. You're gonna in for a treat because it's fucking a horse show. I'm, gra- I'm glad we brought this up because there should be no negativity, especially in BMX. We're all the same. We all deal with the same shit. We all have the same love, no matter what it is you do, uh like like discipline. But like it, we're we're just we all should embrace and love a hundred percent. Exactly. And I feel like we mostly do. I mean, honestly, I don't have like I don't have a, I don't have one guy, not one. That ever said like "fuck you, you suck, you piece of shit," and I look, <laughs> I look at other people's pages sometimes, the comments, and I see people attacking Some people. Hate, yeah. So I'm, I'm lucky to have you people like 
treat me like like they do because you know it, it it's right here. But um, well, I think it's fair it's fair to say you've reached legend status. You know, like I I think that word sometimes gets thrown a lot a lot. But I think I think you're you're up there as like top ten fucking most legendary yes. like yeah. BMXers. Yeah. Me and Fuzzy all. You, I mean, Fuzzy's yeah. fucking in there too. Yeah. You know, it's a hard list, but like you, you're definitely <laughs> Me and you're, Fuzzy all. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely one of the most popular BMXers of all time. Yeah, you, I mean, you, from, you, from, Hoffman, yes. Mira, Nyquist. You know, Mira at the top mix you guys around a little you know like whatever the list is but like fuck who else is who Ruben, else would be nasty Ruben. taj van right yeah. man there's you like know. joe Rich. you're looking at that post yep <laughs> i'm literally i got <laughs> <laughs> you cheater <laughs> I, I have a cheat cheater dennis ederson's right there too yeah, baby fucking right who else is there? fucking stick the names out <laughs> Yeah, but you're in there. 100%. Yeah. So, Appreciate I mean, that, guys. I mean, and I know you don't feel like that, right though, there. because you're out there digging and riding. You don't want to be called a legend. I think you, you just want to re- no, redesign but... yourself yeah. every two years. So, you know, <laughs> it's you very know, calculated. You want, to, you want to keep fucking being different because otherwise, if you start off being a certain way and you just stay, you do get washed up and, and, and kind of played out no. straight up. So you always have to be um, changing it up. You're riding up. Um, just your personality. I mean, people used to think I was cocky and an asshole and this and that. And I'm like the most genuine, heartfelt, fucking I'll help anybody person. And a lot of people don't know that about me. A lot of people don't really, some people get the wrong vibe because of just something. Maybe they saw me on the wrong day or they just, they just or have they caught, Or they caught, they caught nasty and not Corey. I don't know. Sometimes I don't I mean, know, but sometimes, it's not me anymore. And I'm I feel, just a I feel like sometimes you, you could, you could turn yeah. it up, you know, like it was like, there was a couple, like we'd be hanging out and then like, you know, five or six people would show up and then it was like, whew, that's over. Yeah, yeah. That's over. <laughs> That's over. Yeah, I just want to keep it real. Fucking respect you. You respect me. Fucking, you know, ride bikes, have fun, shit, and then go back and handle your own business. Like, I don't ever want to fuck with nobody. I, I love everybody. I love our BMX community. And, um, you know, just do the right shit. Because I think the world needs a lot of people to just fucking think like that, be like that, so the world be a better place. Because it's what it needs, like right you now. said, it's it's just all kind of scrambled. It's like I have anxiety just living in Earth right now. It's just everything's so fucked up. And yeah. Especially with the pandemic, it's like we can't fly anywhere. We can't go on trips. We can't you know, wear masks. We're you know we're it's just fucked up. I don't know if I'm gonna die tomorrow or or if I'm if it's really exists or if it's a conspiracy. If you're like, gonna die yeah, if you're yeah, being right. lied to. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah, you gotta yeah, just give me tune a fucking out. shovel. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Shovel. <laughs> yes. I will build. <laughs> I'll build a dirt trap or a grave. <laughs> right, 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 right. One hundred percent. I always, I always say that. Too. I'll dig people my own people need grave. their their thing right now. Their passion, their hobby, whatever exactly. it is. Exactly. Like you guys out love. there, find out exactly. Find out what it is that fucking you are passionate about, and just do that. Especially mm-hmm. in these times, you know, and um, and it's been working. It's been working. What a. Uh, what would your what would what would today's Corey say to to 20 year old Corey <laughs> uh you live and you learn <laughs> you gotta live you gotta live you gotta learn and uh, and life's a journey mate you know yeah. I think that uh I think that you know that people like you know, I don't know you know I don't know I was just I had so much fun I was a fun outgoing kind of person a lot of energy and just wanted to make the best of every situation and sometimes it was good sometimes it was bad but but you live and you learn and now I just kind of Happy that I did all the shit I did. Happy I learned all the shit I learned because I, I wouldn't be who I am today without without going through the fucking yeah. chaos that I've been through. And I think it's great. I think everything happens for a reason. And I don't go to church and shit, but I talk to God every freaking day at least. Yeah, were you always religious? I actually have that. I, I was like, is he religious? Because I was like, because you've definitely mentioned that a couple of times. Like, it, it, I feel like people would be surprised. Okay, one more story. Okay. <laughs> Last year, I was coming back from Tatchby and I drank a lot of fucking water. And I always got to pee. So I, I just pee out, I pull off the side of the freeway, and I'll just fucking go behind a tree, and I'll pee all the way home. Like, I'll do it like seven times. I have I, no idea where this is going. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is fucking awesome. So I go to pee, coming back from Tachapi to San Diego, and I and I uh, jump out the car, go behind this tree, and I, for, I hit the button to my car to put it in park. The car never goes in park. Mm-hmm. The car... People are beeping, beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, what the fuck's everybody pissing? I'm like, what the fuck's everybody beeping at? And I look and I see my car with my bike on the rack going by itself in the middle of the fucking, um, the five freeway. And uh, I go, I have no shirt on. I have my dick out. I'm like, what the fuck? No way. Oh shit, my car. (laughs) And I'm running after my car in the middle of the the fucking five freeway. I got semi... (laughs) I'm I'm in like I just want to shock mode because I just were you driving shirtless or did you take your shirt off to pee? Smoked a little. 
<laughs> so I got paranoid, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna kill people and fuck my car up." And I'm like, "God, this!" And I'm running, and I'm not thinking about anything dangerous. And there's a semi like this, okay? Semi's like this, and my car's like diagonal, like this, and it's about to go underneath the semi trailer, okay? And right here, where my where my where my hood hits the goes under the the you know one of those tractor trailer yeah. big goes under. And it was, it was near the front tires, not the back. So I knew I had just enough time to open the door and jump in it and turn the wheel. So I did. So the car's going under the fucking tractor, okay? I And it's, see this, this little triangle? It, I was in there, so I was about to get ran over and just smushed. But I just <laughs> grabbed the door. Got in it. The fucking tra- the bottom of the tra- the bottom of the trailer crushed my roof and windshield down on me i fucking yank the wheel as i'm trying to get the roof from my face and i yank my car out of the fucking underneath this fucking semi how fast because the semi was going about 15 miles an hour because it was like traffic so luckily it was going slow but the timing on my car drifting and it was like a half a mile from me because when i was pissing i didn't even look for a while i was like what's everybody beeping at so I'm running through the fr- shirtless. People are like beeping. What the fuck's this guy doing? They didn't know if I was a what kind of person I was. Yeah. And I'm just thinking my windows were tinted, so nobody could see this guy. People probably thought someone had a stroke and was out yeah, and yeah, just in yeah. the. And so I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna kill people. My adrenaline's going. I'm not thinking. I open the door, fucking <laughs> crank the wheel and make it out alive. And I saw the bottom. I saw underneath the track. The tractor truck. This guy's face is funny right now. Because I'm listening, dude. I'm in there. I'm watching and, a movie. And I and that door the, the 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 door fucking came down and it, it fucking <laughs> it broke my top of my foot but uh-huh. that's all I had that's yeah. all that happened oh and I think my fucking my my um I think I hit my fucking head it was bleeding but cranked it out and I made it to the side of the fucking the side of the freeway and I just stopped and I was like <gasps> nobody stopped to help me <laughs> nobody stopped to say except for one guy yeah. but but nobody stopped to say. Bro, I just saw that. You you fucking just died and can't, you, you should be dead. Like, dude, I just went and I had nobody to share with. So it was just in my own head and I was just me. And this one guy's like, dude, are you all right? I just saw the end of that. And I'm like, I was like shaking. I was like, fucking, I was like, I, I just died. But this brings me back to the God thing. God fucking saved my life again. <laughs> yeah. Nobody goes under a tractor fucking trailer, not in the car, opens the door, jumps in as it's getting crushed and makes it out alive on the 15th, on the five freeway. So in my head, I'm sitting on the side of the road and all I can see is the phone call that the cops call my wife and say, uh, we have Cornostasio dish dead, found dead on the freeway. I'm not sure how he was laying outside of the car, but he was outside of the car. He wasn't in the car. He died. Um, sorry to tell you this. And I saw my girl make, um, doing the dishes and then like answers her phone and then like, Drops the dishes and a loud noise, and then she's screaming, No! And I seen the kids running, Mommy, what's wrong? What's... And I see the whole it's thing the vision is happen. Like it happened. Right after the crash, like this all wow. happened. And I'm on the side. So I dealt with that for fucking, um, you know, for about two months, but there was a caddy jam um, one week, and my ticket was already booked. This was not last year, but the year before. And I had my foot, I just <laughs> cr- the, the door broke my foot, and I had a ticket already booked. So I told Adam, I called Adam when I got home, I said, Bro, I fucked. I fucking almost died. I go, I'm, I can't even. I, I was so, I was in shock, bro. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was just over and over because I knew I died. I knew I was dead. That was it. And I was still alive. And so I was just like, ugh. And Adam goes, what are you going to do? And I go, I don't, I honestly, I don't think I, I can't even walk. I don't know. I can't, I can't ride. He goes, I go, I'm fucked. I go, but I'm so fucked. I need to get out of here. So I'm going to come. So jumped on a plane. I went to Adams. Adam picked me up. I fucking, I'm icing my leg, trying to get it ready for the jam. I'm fucking stretching all that shit. I'm still kind of fucked because of the accident. <laughs> and uh, and then I went to Caddy and I flipped, uh, I flipped chicken, the last jump hip that you flip whip back in fucking sick bastard. Our trip. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Before I wouldn't even hit chicken back then. You wouldn't. You, yeah, don't, right. even, you, you don't even ride there. You just show up and go. Oh, oh, the, <laughs> flip whip. Well, like. This fucking guy, man, <laughs> incredible. But um, but same jump. Um, and and my foot was fucked, and so I did that flip, and I was just like, "Fuck yeah, I'm alive. My foot's fucked. I made it on the trip. I flipped this fucking jump. Life is fucking crazy." Yeah, yeah. yeah. But thank you, God, because that's the second time God God didn't let me die, and I don't know why He's got me here. I have no idea why I'm fucking here, but I'm here for a reason. I don't know why. 
that day hasn't come. Maybe there's going to be a fire and I save fucking people. I don't know. Yeah. But, but I heart. died twice, dude, and I came back. So I don't go to church. I don't really listen to people's religions and how they think about it. I just know that there's a higher fucking power and he's responsible for whatever the fuck <coughs> obstacles I'm dodging down here <laughs> yeah. on earth. Yeah. Straight up. Grabbing Not to mention yeah. grabbing, BMX. Grabbing your shoulders, moving you out of the way. Insane. Yeah. Didn't you almost, was the car crash the first time? Car crash. When Jesus said to God, God, should we take him? And God said, hold on, son. Yeah. This is what he did. And I was, I was in a coma for uh, 30 days. And he said, no, nah, he's not ready. Bring him back. And I went like this. Boom. And you've, you've watched that happen. Yeah, this is all real shit. And you were dead at the time, and coma. I was dead. And I opened my eyes and I said, babe, get me a number two. I thought I was at McDonald's. <laughs> Straight up. I remember everything crispy. So, <laughs> so I, I've been some crazy. Yeah, you have. Just, you have. You have. Crazy. Yeah. So I'm so lucky, bro, just to be alive yes. still, man. You know, like I don't care about anything. I'm just happy to be alive and just still in this world with you guys and fucking BMX is, you know, my, my, my fucking fam. And I'm just lucky. Oh, You're yeah. not lucky. Lucky. What follow man. your heart. It works. Lucky. Okay, lucky, whatever you want to say. Lucky. <laughs> you're, you're meant to be here. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Favorite writer, you know that. Yeah. Of course. Favorite human, too. What, uh, do you going to do a book ever? I feel like. Oh, I fucking hate that. myself. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about myself. No. But was it, was if you uh, read Stephen's book, I, you get a little insight. Yeah, their, I was, I wanted, I, I've never read it. Have you read it? No, but it yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, did, he did book. me dirty. He did me a little dirty. Did he? It didn't, it didn't seem dirty. It he just talked about. Like the worst things yeah. in our relationship, and never brought me okay. out of the muddy, threw me in. Okay. It's like, uh, what about when I wiped your ass and I plucked your eyebrows and I combed your hair and I cut your hair and I made sure you you everything was perfect. True. I gave you a, a business through my business, a lady. I gave you a fucking uh, assistant eight miles. That's when I lost eight miles. I said, listen, I need you, but he needs you more. Mm -hmm. You're the man, so you'll, I know you'll do a good job gave him that and then and then aj had to leave him and then i was there and i was driving from san diego and i was you know i'm not making a lot of money that you know i wasn't making a lot of money so i was like you spending my own money to go down there you know before work or after work and i was just there for him mm -hmm. and none of that shit was brought up yeah and when i moved his whole house to go back to england i fucking packed his whole house up dealt with his fucking dumbass dad you know that just expected shit and and he never said thank you wow mm -hmm. and he looked at tj ellis and goes hey man hey tj Thanks for everything, man. Right in front of me. And and T's like, got like a fucking popsicle in his hand, not doing shit. He's like, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Yagi. And I'm, yeah, Yagi. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. And, and he can do no wrong. Steven can do yeah, no wrong. I course, was just, yeah. I was just hurt because like you, you wrote that book about all this crazy, cool, fun, whatever. You thought, but you never bring me out of the mud and, and told people my, 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 my good qualities that I have. Was the was the bad because I haven't read it? Was the bad stuff the the period where you weren't hanging out with him after the crash? No, it was the wild was partying it, time. Or just the partying stuff. That shirt's sick. Uh, That's what I said. It, it was it was from. <laughs> Thank it was, you. He was just he wrote it, and 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 I and I only I, I read enough to just I just know that like you know, yeah. there was no. For me, it was didn't no, do you any favors. Yeah, it just made me look like a fucking idiot, like yeah. a like a drug addict, piece of shit, fucking it's, wild it idiot. And, and it talks about the gnarly time. I yeah. swear, I'm. I'm I, wanna, I, mean, I, that, I should that, get it. It's good. Yeah. yeah, that was that. But what about you know the the fucking you know, the your best fucking friend that was there, and when he first broke his neck, it was it was hard for me to like jump in there and see that, even though I was yeah. at the hospital. And but I could I, I could see I could see myself being the same way. Just yeah. so crushing to see somebody you love like that that it that it. It, it hurts, you know, so I separated for like six months. Yeah. And then and then I was back full board. Yeah. Um, and but I had all the, all the help put in place and I just kind of designed everything for everything, you know, and I just kids, I, just kids were at the time they were like little radical animals. And I was, you know, trying to mold them into good humans. And and it was my whole life. But like I said, the book, he, there was nothing in that was so the people read it. They're going to get this 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 vision of me in in horrible light. And I just, you know, for me, I was just like, that's no good. Yeah. No, that's yeah. I never looked at it that way because I know you so well. So I didn't think of, didn't you know, I already you. knew the amazing stuff you did for him. So, I, yeah, when you do, you know, when you do and, say and that, it does. It is a lot of you're just when Matt was, Hoffman read that book is a good read. You know, Matt Hoffman thinks that's all I did for Steven. Now, my quality as a human <laughs> by Matt know. Hoffman Matt that, is just what. But you know what I'm saying? How you I, feel? I get what you're saying. When, yeah, you, when yeah, you watch yeah, a movie, yeah, 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 the movie's yeah. the movie. Yes. Yeah. It's if like, they don't know you, you know what I mean? Person, because to me, I filled in the blanks without even thinking about it. You know, I just said people read that book, you can hear more about nasty. Right. You know, not, not thinking that there's right. I forget about that, and you're like, no, that's not everything. Right. No, I mean, long as he made money, you know, long as that's what he, whatever. What I just want the best for him. But as far as that, that for me, I was just kind of like, fuck. Yeah. You know. Well, how's he doing overall? 
uh, he's 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 still alive. Yeah, you know, he's still alive. He's his, still ki- his, kids his kids are, are fucking. Great. They're grown. Yeah. They're 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 really good humans. His mom's um, been you know huge for him. Um, he's where he belongs. Um, Back he, in England, and he's yeah. still killing it. You know, as far as he's still handsome, he's still fucking. You know, I'm sure he's you know, but um, but I haven't really talked to him to be honest in about about twelve months. No, oh, no. Yeah, okay. I see him on Instagram here and there, but. I haven't really talked to him yet. Yeah, so it happens. It happens. So I mean, and when it when you guys do hit, just like I feel that, like I, yeah, just I feel like I go, need him to just call me and say, I, I heard, I heard, hash it out because he know bit. he kind of knows I got my feelings. Out. Just like, bro, I I I'm so sorry. Like I love you. You know that. Like, and that's all I need. Yeah. And yeah. he and he's just he's acting like not like not like it shouldn't bother me. And I don't know. Yeah. So I'm just like Man, I got a family now. I got my like, let me well, maybe let maybe me somebody my, will sh- maybe somebody will show him this and then it'll be the little icebreaker. You know. Was that your best friend? At, at he, is, he is my best friend. He can do no wrong. Like I said, if he needed me, I'd be there tomorrow. It seemed like you guys, when I was a little kid watching you, it was like We're, Corey and Steven. I'll do anything for him. Don't get me wrong. I just, mm-hmm. my feelings got hurt. Yes. And I'm just kind of, you know, now I'm just doing my family. Mm-hmm. I, people that need me, I'm there for. Understandable. Than, you know. But yeah. You, did a, you helped that family a lot. What about, I wanted to talk about bands. Uh, you mentioned it earlier, but you have, you know, been on bands as a BMX rider for uh, I think you said the longest running He's one. Been on there the longest, yeah. Was there when Batters switched his role up? Was there ever an idea that you would take a role like that? Because obviously, you know, I you wish. if 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 you saw Batters when he was younger, you would think that he wouldn't be capable of doing the role. You know, True. so like he killed it. And he yeah, killed it, and yeah. so like he fucking partied, and so I, I feel like you would have that ability to. To, uh, you know, if you want it, it, you know, if you wanted it, like you I, I love that you said that. That's so. awesome. Fuck yeah, um, and you're 100 percent right. Um, not yet. Yeah. If they offered me the job, yeah. I would 100 percent take it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, just because it's Vans. Yeah. I, mean, I think Vans is the because I feel most like Vans incredible company in the fucking yeah. face of the earth, from really lifestyle cool. to shoe to family to vibe. I yeah. mean, dude. So their know. business out worldwide, like they know what they're doing. They're throwing yeah. events. They're putting money in the right places. They're you know, they're yeah. just they're just awesome. Yeah, like, you can't go wrong with Vans. I, I feel mean. like they like that story too. Like I think it's such a cool thing of like, hey, we had this dude on the team for twenty five fucking years. Now he works in here. He did his thing, and now he's a fucking man behind a desk. And on Friday hey, afternoon, dude. when it's a half day, you can see him do a fucking hey. three flip. You hey. know, hey, like. Oh God. Like or before, <laughs> yeah. Imagine me being your TM and say, "Hey, we got to do trips all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> Pull up, let's go." That'd be amazing. The that would be amazing. That you know, amazing. my wife. I don't know if she'd like that. She yeah. she'd probably pay me to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, but Vans would probably be the only. You know, Vans and Rockstar is a good a good brand. Too. Even a Rockstar. Rockstar. Too. Rockstar is a good brand, but now they just got bought by Pepsi. Yeah, I just feel like they are. So you they're know. they're kind of more corporate ish. They're going yeah, corporate, yeah. and Vans just as corporate as they are, and as much money as they make as a as a business, they're still a, fa- a small little family that's just like, like I don't know. It's just they're a part of something with Vans. It's just no. I don't know. It's just like um, I have nothing to do with Vans, and I catch that vibe when I'm there. You know, like Steve Van Dorn, keeping, he's cooking keeping, for you. He's yeah, like, keeping people yeah. happy and Everyone's just like the, yeah, the the my my wife would know the term, but the just the vibes. Yeah, the, I guess the, the energy, vibe. Yeah, vibe, the, energy the energy or whatever yeah. the you know the 100%. keeping the, whatever the the term is for keeping your employees excited about working Vans besides the paycheck yeah. is like yeah. is really there. You yeah. Know? So, so, so Batters when he moved to his new position. Um, was to throw events, right? Yeah. And now cool. that the pandemic's here, I, I, you know, there's there's really no room space for that right yeah. now. So I, he's probably going crazy. And then Colin's, you know, kind of doing what is Colin kind of he's running the Instagram and, and, and he yeah. send you the clothes and stuff, and he takes the photos and, and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Did he? Did he? Did he? Was he part of shooting your edit? He he came on a trip and was he coordinated the whole thing. He yeah. coordinated it was his thing, right, thing like right. make sure. So was, he's got that job. There's not much room. It's a small fucking yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I just when it when it was in flux, I was just curious because I know Gary, like Gary Gary, Young. Gary was it going was, for it, was it a little bit, me but and I didn't. Gary were yeah, to get I didn't. That, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah I didn't know. <laughs> That's sick. Me and Gary were trying to get that. But to yeah. be honest, if if I if I took a job, then I I guess I wouldn't be riding as as, as much. That was Gary's problem too. Yeah, Gary. You know, that was Gary's. It, it, he was on the same thing. He's like, I want to take this job, but damn, I want to make. I want to still be a pro fucking bike. And rider. Gary's yeah. a perfect example of yeah. getting better with age too. Yeah, hundred percent. Guys, fuck, he looks better. He 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 just he's just he's just doing what he's good at, and he's perfecting it. And you like to watch him ride, and he's he won't let you down. And he's just you can you know if there's, there's something coming out like an edit or a video or whatever he's doing, it's like solid as fuck. And you're mm-hmm. like, dude, the guy's business. He's still yeah. business. Yeah. He's getting better. He's always smiling. Nice kid. Great great human. So um, let me borrow his car yesterday. It was great. 
nice guy. You hung out with him yesterday? Yeah. I hung out. You did a lot of shit. Pat Casey and yeah, Damn. yeah, I'm a busy guy. Damn, that's tight. <laughs> oh man, let me ask what you. A- let me ask you a question. So this is this your full time job? Yeah, he just because yeah, you guys you guys just started this. This was like your little baby. You guys just jumped yeah, over and you didn't uh, have like nobody. April, April two thousand nineteen, I think, when when we officially started. So a little bit over. I mean, we're coming up on like a year and a half. You do a little so. couple side things here and there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I shot. I, I, I saw. I saw Corey last weekend because I shot mountain bikes for for Monster. Right. So a uh, little bikes? race. No, he was just bikes. hanging out. Oh, yeah. yeah so hey, I'm a lot like you. I'll never touch a mountain bike. I rode, I rode a He's mountain bike. Oh, because like your, your friend Christian, he's my pure freshman. Come on, let's go to Big Bear. Well, it's it's pretty fun. Do you, it is, and a lot of people say that. Yeah. I just I, I just can't ride them. Yeah, I can't ride them. The the tire's too big. At that point, I'm just I can't ride them either. I just, yeah, just right. fly down right. the hill. Like the first time <laughs> Christian takes me, he's like, "You want to meet my friend Brandon Simonuk?" I'm like, "Yes." Oh, God, you know, and the first time I go is with him. Oh, God. And it was like I the respect the fuck out of it. I just can't. Yeah, yeah. I just can't do it. That edit yesterday was fucked. Yes. The manual to backflip yes. thing. Yeah, the whole the whole thing. Another mountain biker just did a manual backflip, but it was like on the up ramp and it was like game changing. And it's like, of course, Simonuk just manualed off of this Euro. That, that guy's. Flip. Yeah. Ha- he's so fucked. He's like sick. the Dennis Anderson of BMX. He is. <laughs> no, he's on another he level. Can I take a pee real quick? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to get up and pee? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nyquist robbed you of an X Games gold. Skip question. Next. <laughs> I watched. I was it. just watching 2003 I, X Games. Was that I, the one? It was 2000, and because uh, I saw the X Games podcasting, and I was like, I'm gonna look up this contest. And he fucking did. He fucking rocked because he oh, did you? he fully because it was the two jumps you did? and then you took the, the time the, to do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. This guy's and it, DMX fucking, and right he fucking and it had that little like weird tabletop thing, uh-huh. and then and then another jump, and right. he and he did a flip X up. And then like blew a foot off, uh-huh. or like flip one, or flip one handed X up, like you know one of those wrenched ones, and then yeah. blew a foot off, and then just you know didn't even go over the second jump. Right. It got back on his bike, restarted, uh-huh. and then did a seven twenty and case the shit out of it, uh-huh. and I think maybe even blew a foot off. Yeah. And he needed like a ninety point three. Yeah. And they gave him a ninety one. Weird shit happens sometimes at contests. And it was like, have it. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, whoa. There's been like, some weird stuff. So Nyquist is going to hear this and now. He's like, because Nyquist is like, no, I didn't rob you. No, no. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You owe <laughs> like Nasty 25 grand. You <laughs> 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 did. Luckily, I don't give a fuck. I know. It was fucking 20 years ago. What? You got point. second and he got first and he yeah. beat you because of that? Yeah. Well, you had, to, you had to pull two runs and he pulled one. Yeah. And I pulled two and he won. That shit, yeah. it's oh, fucking, it's contest, man. Some the bullshit rules in the beginning sometimes. were changed at the end. I was like, oh, okay, but yeah. 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 pretty weird. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, well, well, you know, like, is the man. I definitely at least at least it's an man. amazing human that it happened he to. Is, he's yeah. Man. yeah, I love him. He's a good guy. Yeah. Was he? Uh, was he? Was he cool back then too? He was. Uh, he's always been the same. Yeah, same exact dude from then till now. It definitely like, he's like a little kid, and then when they call his name at the contest, it's like. That's well, yeah, he won. Guy. He won, and like Lee Ramsdale was the announcer, and and he put the and he put Lee on his shoulders like, for the interview. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, so he's pretty much the same exact dude. <laughs> he's, so awesome. yes. he's still killing it too. I was man. just on a trip with him like two weekends ago. He's just in the streets hanging out with us, like he, farting, farting, right. He's like a little kid, and then he like li- like how he's bunny hopping around. Wee, this looks like a little kid on his right. bike riding the street, and then he puts his pads on, gets right. to the skate park, and just wah. Like, did you Jesus. guys do that whole like? The whole was a horror tour. It was just a trip, like a four day trip, and he actually only came on it for two days. Really, like missed a day and left early because he just got the weekend, and then boom, back to kids dropping yeah. kids off, pandemic yeah. shit. You know, it's, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling me his schedule, and I was like, yeah, it's brutal. Well, it's, I am it's, so it's, happy I don't have that schedule. That's it's fuck. real. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend now? I do. What a serious one? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, man. it's awesome. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. Usually single. <laughs> you, you are, but you're you're uh, you're selective. You're picky, and you're you're doing you. Yeah. You know, before because once you get a girl, man, you know that day you got cats coming in and out. You see, like, <laughs> <laughs> I never I never seen that cat. <laughs> I know, right? I was telling, we just got another kitten too. What? My my wife. Three kitties. Three fucking, kitties and an no, awesome dog. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking snug it in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, so well, was not, it the girl, the girl that I saw last week? Yeah. All right. I was, I was hoping you were going to say no. I was like, last week, that, the night you, I had wine all over me. You said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> covered in well, wine. I was going to say, well, that'll help you, uh, that'll help you um, you know, stay focused, but you don't fucking need no help. Nah, yeah, she's great. She just motivates good. me to 
kill it harder right. as hard as I can. Yeah, right. she's right. Oh, yeah. She gets up in the morning like I'm going surfing. I'm out of here. I'm she's like, a surfer. Yeah, she's. Hey, a surfer. have you been surfing? No, she got me in the water though, and I, you know me, Let's I hate the ocean. Go. I'm actually kind of down because you will. My rock. shoulder always killed me. You know the shoulder thing with my great, torn labrum, and I was swimming, and I was like, I think it's good enough now. Like great that's why I never it. wanted to do it because I didn't want it to pop out in the water. Great. And for I it. finally at you know 2020, 29 years old, I'm like, I'm getting healthier. I was swimming a little. Good. Yeah. You'll love it. Last time I went out, me and Chad had to get rescued by the jet skis because I we both, we both doggy paddling and we got stuck Amazing. in a rib current and no the fucking the, the lifeguard I, Chad it's was gonna gnarly, my friend Josh was holding him and Josh goes I only got like forty five more seconds and we're I'm letting you go Josh, dude Josh? yeah Josh Josh was holding yeah. Chad because Josh is a great swimmer but we're all stuck in this rip current I'm like and Chad grabbed Josh and Josh was like I got you for a little bit oh no Doggy. dogs here and lifeguard uh, jet ski came and got us so I didn't it's go in the water Mother since Nature then. is gnarly. But that's I had a doggy battle because I couldn't get my arms up. Now I think now I think I might be down to hit some surfing. It's, it's great. That'd be a good way for us to hang out too, dude. It's the only way because I have my, I'm trying to get yeah. my kid in the water, just so he's not doing other dumb shit. And and I've been surfing a lot. Like come here, dude. Like a lot. It's sick. Like every morning you live and so like, close to the beach. I live like like uh, like quarter mile. Yeah. But like but like I'm I'm fucking like I'm on my bike. Then you get on your bike because the, the waves fuck you up so hard. Using like, different you, muscles, right? And you're just paddling against the grain and it's just, it's, it's, but then you catch and all you need, you bet that for two hours only catch one wave and be psyched. And, and then, if you eat shit, it's nice because you're like, you're, it's not like snowboarding because I was really into snowboarding. When you eat shit snowboarding, it's like, yeah, uh-oh, I can't it ride hurts, now. You're strapped in. The Surfing's knee. like you either drown or you're fine. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's either it's death fun. or you're fun. like, I, especially I got, us, we're just going to be on sand. Not I got boards. I'll come to your fucking house and pick you up. Dude. Right. I would love to go surfing with you. It would be tight. Me, you, and Trey. But um, it. but yeah, it's great. It's great cross training. Like it just makes you just because I mean, I mean, you think about it. But you think BMX is gnarly. It is, I guess, if you fall hard and awkward. But surfing, like, there's not a day where you're not gonna get tossed around like a little bitch. Mm -hmm. As soon as you go out, you're getting fucked. Mother up. Nature just that's how that I know. But you don't break anything. You just you just like it's just like you're in a wash machine. You're just getting fucking tossed. You're like, dude, my body can do that. I'm no more yoga. Like that's yoga. Like mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, my. Like, it's insane. That's why I'm scared though. And that's just I got no shark. labrum in this shoulder. Yeah. It's scary. Really? Yeah, I don't even have a labrum, so it just yank and it sticks out. It pops out a socket. Oh. What well, did you get that fixed? And, yeah, and it ripped again. And you were doing exercises in the room. On the I'm still doing them. The I still do. I'm gonna go home and do it today because right. my day off of riding, I'm gonna right. get they, the shoulder strong. They couldn't get that thing buckled back in. They couldn't do it. I ripped it again. You ripped it again. So I just fuck it. No labrum. Since I was 17, though, it's been over. No, since 17. Yeah. So you're one of the guys where your shoulder will come out. You be like, oh, my shoulder's out, and you had to pop it back in. Yeah. You're that guy. Mm -hmm. And there's no fixing it, huh? So if you go to... The fixing it is strengthening it. Mike Hoder actually told to me, because he's, you know, Mike, he's the yeah, best. Yeah. He had the same thing. And he's like, dude, just focus on getting it strong. Because he did the same thing. He was going to get surgery and he just got it strong. And he's like, it never popped out again. And so I took his advice. Like, fucking Hoder told me to get it strong. And I... Right. Just been religious with it. Yeah, you have been. No, I remember. Yeah, that's why it. surfing is like, ooh, I'm so right. scared. Spooky, huh? Yeah. Huh. Well. Um, so wait. Man, when we're doing this, it doesn't even feel like a podcast. You were like I know, the right? most. We're this is great. Um, <laughs> you, let me ask you a question. <laughs> well, you're my best friend. Did you? Um, <laughs> you're my best friend. Are you my best friend? <laughs> if you go for a big move on the streets, are you worried that that thing's gonna pop out? Uh, I I I know the movements where it does pop out. Okay. So I very you know I keep that. Like, I don't lift my... Sh this shoulder can go above my head. This one only goes to right here. I really? I have to put my finger in it to hold it in. It'll pop out. Really? So everything is down. Even my no-handers are like... Meh. And I used to do them like... Ah. I don't do Supermans, which is my favorite trick. The, that was the, one thing I had to... Because oh, you can't... You can't. Nope. Oh, well, that I've sense. gone Superman, pop out, and it's like, I'm not doing that again. Oh. So it's like that's why I've just like... This arm is right here oh. for life. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. That's but, like me and my knee. But it doesn't keep me... You know, the only thing it, okay. it sucks for is like certain ways of landing supermans and a couple things so it's it's okay yeah i just had to say goodbye to everything or not everything but those few couple tricks. things couple things and fuck it i'm good that's me with my knee yep 100 percent. you yeah. know you probably what do you not have an acl well i took i did i had four acls four acls that are now replaced. so you just learned it, what it's keeps fixed it. mm -hmm. but it's my fourth fixed you know it's my fourth uh what is it cadaver wow my meniscus kind of shot now this leg's kind of hurting <laughs> but um, that's why I just I, I eat a lot of I put a lot of beets in a juicer and I drink the fuck out of beets for like blood flow, anti-inflammatory and like the the turmeric and the fucking all, all that shit. <laughs> turmeric, I, I do turmeric, beets, um, ginger. Um, I do like lemon and grapefruit just to like drop weight, makes you skinnier, and bananas just to make it like not taste as horrible. And then like kale, obviously. Right. Um, and, and and I do that every day. 
And, and it's a pain in the ass. It's a fucking job. Oh, it's so chop, good chop, for you. That's juice, magic. Juice, 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 magic. The thing, and then you clean it up, and they clean up things. Like fuck. But um, <laughs> but you have to have it. <laughs> yeah. You have to have it. You know. So that good for you. Good that's for you hel- to know that's that. helping yeah. things last yeah. a little longer. Because, like I said, when we were talking before, I said you're a victim of your own success. For you to keep bettering your last video. <sighs> I just got to get taken in the right spots. That's it. You got You got to You got fucking. Can't, I couldn't even imagine. Uh, How are you going to top that, dog? <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> How are you going to top that, dog? As long as, like I said, as long as I go to the right spots, that's when it's easy for me. When I go on trips and people are just taking me to the wrong shit, you know, and it's not their fault. But when I have, when I go, when I go to Seattle with my coder, he knows exactly what I want to do. Right. And he, it's like so fucking easy the whole gotcha. way through. But I go on. I'm in Manhattan with nobody that knows what I want to ride. And I'm there There's not going to be anything for you in Manhattan. Yeah, you I know? got one clip in Manhattan. Did you? And I had to find so that you, thing on you my own. You know what he likes then, huh? Well, yeah, but like, like Manhattan's just busy and tightly packed. It's and too tight. Yeah, and it's like it's not going to have like this, right. you know. That red thing was in Manhattan. Yeah, the red thing. Yeah. The the opening oh, clip. Oh, that looked like it was in China. It kind of does. Yeah, yeah, yeah I right? can see that. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that's in right in Manhattan. Yeah. The should red we, thing. I mean, I, we should, I knew exactly you were talking yeah, about the yeah, red thing yeah. on the video. Yeah. yeah. It is red. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a red thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like fucking Hoder, um, Hoder's taking you to stuff that he's wanted to do for a long time. Or you know, he's like seen or, that yeah, maybe like, aren't his way that he would have. Yeah, done. exactly. And, yeah, I love the so, shit Hoder does. So it's yeah, perfect. so you've it's like you guys ride so much alike that it makes sense that Hoder would like have a stack of spots yeah. that would like fit and i've learned that at this point in my life too is like i'd rather i just wait on stuff it's like you know like surfers how you just wait for the waves to be right that's i'm not going to just that's a good way to put it if i'm getting a a clip if i'm working on my video part that's going to be my best part of the time i'm not going to fucking just be like yeah i'm going to do it today i'm going to ride this ledge because i need a clip today i'm fuck that dude i'm just going to wait and feel better tomorrow something will come upon and if it doesn't then i guess i'm done because i can't find anything to do anymore same you know it's funny you don't even need you could stop competing today and be just as well off and just as respected, if not more. Um, I think I'm kind of done competing, <laughs> to be honest. Like, well, I was I was gonna ask that actually, because I mean, now this is turning into the uh, the Dennis podcast, but yeah. like because it, it's time. because it, because in, <laughs> because in, in 2020 you were, or I guess was it 2019? I guess well, fuck. yeah, 2019 you were like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna focus on this video part. Like I was trying to do too much. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna focus on this video part and we get this video part done, and then that's how it has to be. And done. then and then so now that you're done with the video part. Do you have like, is there another project or are you like, what? I your... think that's just what I love. That's yeah. what I really want to do. And contests are cool, but it's just like, I'm just going to only ride ones that are really convenient. You know, yeah. I'm not going to fucking Spain real right. quick for the weekend because some, some Red Bull event they want to fly me out to. Like, right. sorry, yeah. I can't yeah, do that shit. Right. I'm not going to, I need, I right. know what I want to do. Right. Like, Take, Brandon, so, we're you don't about... want to get hurt. Well, it's, it's one of those double edged because you don't want to get hurt. I love competing, but it's just not worth it. Worth it. That's going to fuck your actual video part. That's yeah. going to be, you know, Forever lasting. No one's ever gonna fucking forget that video. That like, I'll never forget that video. Thanks. And that's hard to do to someone like me, especially <laughs> the fucking brain. Yeah. You know, smoke yeah be- best case scenario is that you come back, uh, you know, super drained and and not motivated to do stuff for a week Rob afterwards. Machado. Well, and I just want to. If I'm gonna ride a contest, I want to ride it 100. percent I don't want to go to contests anymore and go there and feel like shit and see the footage from it and be like, ugh, right. like yeah. that's not me. That right. was me jet lagged. Right. Didn't get used to the course yet. Right. We partied the first night. Right. That is not. I don't want right. that filmed anymore. Right. Like yeah. I'm that cool makes sense. on that. That's right. cool. Yeah. But if right. it's a fucking fat purse, prize purse, you know, right. I'm you're gonna get me there. That's the devil. Like, I'm sword. down to go make some money. That's it. But I'm not gonna do it for yeah. For no reason at 100%. all. Hundred percent. And then Nyquist comes in and just fucking takes it. You can have yeah. it. You can have it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> all yours. That's the thing. It's all yeah. yours. Wanna... No, yeah, and that's uh, it's a special breed to be able to. Uh... And, and that's the thing with me. I think I think I'm the first human on BMX bikes that turned 42 that still is getting paid to kind of do whatever the fuck I want. You're a yeah. soul rider, 100. Yeah. percent I don't have to go to any contest. I have no pressure to do anything, and I'm and I'm, I'm not making a lot of money. I'm just making enough. I'm still getting paid to ride bikes, yeah. but but not a lot at all. But. But your scale of a lot is probably a little bit off. But I but I don't think know. anybody gets paid to ride a bike unless you compete. Unless like Rob Machado at surfing, he's like a surfer that never competes that gets, you know, there's fat salary. There's a lot of street riders that don't street compete. street riders, yeah. right? Maybe that's a new era. Yeah. That's a new era street, of like street more street of that. My my mentality though is just like, okay, Thinking you can like, compete, you know. be ready and win this and win that and be invited to this and be invited to that. And it's like if you're not if you're not win if you're not one, two or three, then then no one's gonna pick you up. Well, okay, so here's you though. You, like a street rider, it's this weird 
core. It's almost like so like we're not competing, but everyone's you're putting these video parts out over competing. and over again. It's 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 like a it's a kind of a way it's a competing of competing on your time. I like that. You're doing what about it. You're a just Corey soul riding video part. I've never, we're gonna I've make never a done DVD? a video a fucking yeah. part my whole life. I have not like, one video. Bring the camera out, do my jumps, one day, done. And I was like, Corey, that's not how we're going to do this. And I was like, you're going to make the sickest part like that. That's year. funny. I remember that. You're I'll like, do it in two hours, we'll be done with this. That's what you said. You're like, I can, fuck yeah, I'll do a video part. Come out to my jumps, we're done. We're just going to get this. And that was before like people filmed on Instagram or Man, anything. That would be sick. I'd like to do that. Yeah. Next year, we're going to go to, uh, I'll take you, we'll go. Yeah. I like, think Rockstar is going to start. I was hanging out with Heath yesterday. We have to film those day in the life things. Yeah, he told and me. It, yeah. And it seems like they're. Getting their shit together. The whole Pepsi thing might be kind of cool. Like, I think we might, they're, they're getting like a way bigger budget to do media stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they could film a video part with you. That'd be sick. What's cool is that those guys with us, are, with me and you especially, are just like, uh, just, just here. Yeah. Go, go do what you Let's do. Let's take a picture with a rock star before you leave, too, so we can get that monthly. Yeah. Ch -ch -ch. yeah. <laughs> people know we love rockstar and we take a picture with it together because i was we wondering what it. that rockstar was just doing on that bag we're gonna take a cool picture it's been a while i need one of those posts no but that that's that's um that's that's cool right like um just just the, the, i so so after i'm done kind of start i kind of like say that you said the street writers are getting paid just to ride street a lot of them yeah but 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 people from kind of like my world um had to get had to like win contests mm -hmm. to get sponsored yeah, so video parts weren't even if, a thing if, when if, you were coming up, probably, or give, they were, but not for your world. If I can give hope to people to keep riding, uh, to be a pro without competing, and it opens up a door for a bigger fucking, you know, rather than every BMX kid gets into BMX, and, and they look at it as like, okay, contest. So I'm old enough to have been through it all to kind of like open up this door to like... If you build, you know, lifestyle, lifestyle, if you build trails and fucking go roast your bike and you're fucking the man at it and you fucking got it down and it's beautiful and people want to watch it, then, 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 hey, little kid that's 18, you don't need to train to beat the fucking do all these tricks and hurt yourself and be done pretty much in two years. You can, you can chase this dream and it's not a lot of money, but I mean, and it, I mean, whatever, it's just, it's a, it's a goal to have uh, and it's not such a crucial one, like fucking win or, or not. Mm -hmm. There's no like, there's no winning. You know, it's, it's an amazing a, thing that people. You got to be a good it. rider, right? And you paid your fucking dues. You paid your dues. You did. You did. You did all of that. Right. And and it's like you've achieved that status of like being able not to chill, but like to do what you fucking want. And right. that's like that's like a reward of of fucking killing it for so long. When Mark, I, I heard a story. Is, is there anybody else? That what in it's our sport? I, I know in skateboarding, still gets paid, skateboarding still gets paid. Who's like a? Surfing, I mean, like Do Doyle, DMC. Doyle, Doyle was one. Dennis and McCoy he, is fifty and, years old. And still gets paid. Dennis will jump on a vert ramp and do a nine hundred at X yeah. Games next year, though. He's yeah. not. True, he's not. True. He's not just floating a ramp, real. You know, just for fuck's sake. Yeah, he's like a different. I mean, he's not chilling. He has no fucking chill but in his world but, he is chilling because he loves bmx yeah. as much as we do so he's like that's what i want to do I, I would just like to see like overost and um nutter mm -hmm. and uh, and all these these trail guys um have kids want to be like them I in the woods do. and and ride at that height and mm -hmm. that much control and bikes control and steez and just there's something about it to get to that level and be able to kick that bike and float sideways and just and the feeling of it that's woo, Nothing better than that. If you, you know, ride like Clint Reynolds, I mean, it's like, like the fast, oh like God, the, hopefully, fun. like the you know, <laughs> yeah, like the, the, the fast and loose crew. Like I feel yeah, like hopefully they're creating, you know them, right? uh, creating yeah, yeah. a whole a whole other breed of like dude, kids that just want to fucking go. That's hot. it. That yeah, way, yeah, that, that way, it'll grow our internet. sport, and our yeah. sport will make <laughs> you know bike bike companies will do better because there's 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 there's, there's diversity opening, diversity yes. opening like that gives people like more to ride for rather than just just like down this okay I gotta you know I gotta win or 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 like looking at your video, like when a kid sees that, it's like, okay, I'm gonna try something else. It's like no one. <laughs> there's no. I hope not. There's no. Uh, I kind of go. There's for no the... way, you know. It's like, cool. I'm gonna, you know, do play tennis. But um. Or yeah, but is they there, get, though, but because it, my writing's so simple. Like other people are doing such technical stuff. That's kind of why I wanted to stray away from that. I was like, I don't want any lines. I just want to do like big simple shit, so the average kid could just be like, well, wait, that, on, on I get video that part. Yeah, that was big simple shit. It was pretty simple. It wasn't. I didn't do much tech. I didn't do anything tech. At all, mm. really? Did a flip whip. That was, about it. That was yeah. insane. He go, my boy Dude, goes, that was a boy. fucking wedge. Yo, my boy goes. I, how'd you know that? Because I saw the Matthias clip. The, the Matthias, yeah. Matthias posted that clip of you flipping it, 
and I and I commented. I'm pretty sure I put it in all caps. I was like, "That is a fucking wedge! Holy Dude. shit!" Yeah, the My kid goes, "Dad, he speed. just fucking flip whipped the whole skate park." But it's a fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's literally a fucking. It's like he that, flipped with the takeoff yeah. like this. And I've never been to that park, and I didn't know the. I didn't know that the lip wasn't real. Right. Like I didn't either. Just tell right now. Dude, it was so. And then fun. and then he'll go flip a fucking copen a copen spine. Yeah. He's like, yeah. whatever you got. Yeah. Back flips. There's so that doesn't hurt the arm. No, because they're right here. It's nice. It's in that spot. It's that, this, this yeah. extension. God, I wish both shoulders, but this is so fun. I wish I could do this in the left shoulder. <laughs> this fucking. God. Well, hopefully. I, I'd be surfing if I could do that. Hopefully they um come Why out skate? with something to fucking tack that. Thing. Like, you know, like. I'm, I'm Some super I'm going to be too old to get a new knee at that point. I'm just going to get stronger. You, you're 29. Still, every year, the stronger I get, get it, the get more it's working. Something to fucking I'm just gonna get, fix that, right? Maybe, maybe. That'd be cool. Some surgeon that just tells me they could. That's the thing. I don't want to sit out. It's like right now, I'm like, I love this. Like. Because actually, Danny Way was, I was telling him about it, and he's had crazy shoulder shit. And he's like, This is my surgeon. He will fix you. And I was talking to him and about to do it. And I was like, nah. How many months? Six months? Something. It's a fucking thing. It's a real thing. And it's yeah. money. It's like, Ugh. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It's so hard to do that when you like feel do good. Do it now. T- uh, D, I would tell you, I, I would, my advice is do it now because 29, you're still a fucking baby, bro. You're still a baby. Like, I honestly, nah. at 42, I still I, got screws in my leg. I got to get taken out. Got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, Trust me. I know you paid your do. fucking dues. No, I know. But Not that. You're going like to be I'm riding fuck, for another 15 years. I might be riding until I literally can't. Just, right. You know, like, right. You know. So, so fuck it. Six months is nothing compared to another 15 years in front of you. And if you have your arms back, all your, tra- dude, it doesn't stop. It's like a lot of people, they're like, oh, I'm getting all this fucking. I'll just, no, 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 fix it. I fixed my knee. The older, I fixed my knee about my last you know, six, seven years ago. And, and I have to, like you, I have to we'll kind of watch certain things because I know, you know, so, but, um, but if they made like a fucking, if they made like a new knee, you know, um, ACL and it was like here for everybody that blown knees, it's perfect now to put this surgery. Do. They don't have that though. So, so for me, you know, it's just like, and for you, because I'm old, but, but you're young. So when you five years from now, technology might have a fucking new shoulder. Put yeah. Maybe place, I'll just keep waiting. Kaiser. Yeah. And, and, uh, and then you're back on it because you're going to need all your body parts to keep fucking killing it. Yeah, maybe I'll just wait though until there's just some little laser. You're good. Doesn't it suck? Our body doesn't hold up. Yeah. It, shit. it repairs itself it really it well, shit. but some Fuck. things, some, when you snap an internal ligament, what do you mean? that one. What do you mean my leg snapped? Yeah. yeah. I know. But it's crazy. You can. And you need your knee, you need your legs, you need your arms for riding. Like, <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> you need everything for riding. That's you know? It's the crazy Unfortunately. thing. Unfortunately. Yeah. Gotta protect it, dude. You gotta keep it. But uh, fix, I'd say fix it because, I mean, bro, you just put out, especially right now, you put out that video part. You ain't got shit to prove for fucking at least. Ain't nobody fucking with you in that for. Oh, it takes me a long time listen, to make a video some, part, though. I got to start already. Listen, you, you just motivated <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers to try to, you know, get on that level. But um, and that's great. But um, but they're going to have they're going to have a hard time with that. By the time you fix your shoulder six months from now, that wasn't even be close yet. So they're back in action <laughs> before you fucking know it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody just right. lives like, it's like, oh, fucking 21 already. He's already fucked. Dennis wins. <laughs> 21, huh? This did turn into the podcast video part podcast. I know. It happened. Yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to have to invite Corey over for next time we do like a first watch thing or something. It'd be that fucking be funny. So funny. Yeah. No, you, you're, you're you're like thirty you're like thirty forty minutes away from here if you're in Oceanside. Yeah, so took me, yeah, took me yeah, 40, you're not fucking, minutes. yeah, you're chilling. So, why were you at that mountain bike thing last week? Uh, cause um, Kyle. Oh, Kyle Strait. invited me. Okay, he cool. DM me and was like, "Hey man, I'd really like you to come to my house." And I was like, um, "You feel the love from the mountain bike community? I'm sure." Uh, <laughs> Kyle, <that> yes. Face. <laughs> Kyle, yes. I'm uh, sure they all Brent, love him. Yeah, Brent. I'm sure. I, I don't really fuck. Yeah. I don't really fuck with him. I don't no. know. But uh, no. I love the fuck. I love all. Brandon Seminar. He's got. He's fucking amazing. You know, he's. Um, I don't really know a lot of them though. Kyle, I know since Sheep Hills days. Mm-hmm. You know, he's always been like a little grom. Now he's a fucking big guy. But, huge. But yeah, but no, I grew up watching him and vice versa. But um, but I don't really know a lot of them. I don't no. really go to any mountain bike events. I see what they're doing. I'm like, holy fuck. No. They basically. St- they're basically doing, you know, they're basically for dirt. I mean, those guys basically for dirt contest. Mm-hmm. It's like BMX no. dirt looks silly. There's like, okay, mountain bike took that. Now what are you guys going to do? You yeah, know, BMX is trails. That's like where Dutour left off. You BMX know, BMX is trails. Dutour yeah. turned into that. Like, yeah, those guys. Yeah, dude. 
That's just gnarly. Yeah. Because with Dreamline they, and everything, it was yeah, like they, basically like we we're building mountain bike courses. Like, well, these are too big. But if you had a mountain bike, it's right, like, oh, these right. are what we we're built for. Right. So it kind of got it it literally it's transitioned. They, can have, like, they took yeah. it. They have it. They got that dial. They fucking they know yeah. The, cool. the but em- we got those steep like trails. That, that Empire. Was. What was it? Empire of Dirt. The Dreamlines. No, no, no. Empire, Empire of Dirt was big, but Dreamline was still even bigger. Yeah, but like they they have like the out the uh, the Audi nines and stuff yeah. like that with like the curve wall and like those elements. Oh, they do a lot. So it's like yeah, they do a lot. So, but it's like it's hard to imagine that there'll ever be another bmx event like that because mountain bike just mountain bikes just do it bigger now you know and it's like but that's what's it's cool like it's like, it. like, it's, like it's such a bummer they can yeah. have it. we'll be in the tr- we'll be in the woods yeah. Oh, that's a fucking good mentality yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck it we'll exactly the they yeah. have their bike built for that you know cracked. cody the guy that just went high air at posh like, yeah, yeah. That, this weekend gessler <laughs> he's a mountain biker oh really he was a fucking mountain biker yeah and he's the He's one of the only mountain bikers that I was like, could watch all day. Yeah. You know, there's someone with this. Was he on a mountain bike? No, he was on a BMX bike. You know, he was on a mountain bike. When I met him, I was like, at my trails riding, just so steezy. I'm like, bro, you fucking need to get on a 20. Your style is so sick. Have you ever rode a 20? He's like, yeah, that's mountain bike. All right, cool. Whatever. (laughs) And then he went to Eastside last year, and they made him ride a 20-inch. I'm making this up. This is what I saw through Instagram, but... Did they, they like, you can't ride I, I'm pretty sure bike. he didn't ride a mountain bike at <laughs> yeah, Eastside. So maybe, like, fuck. Ride a 20, you can ride it. So I felt so, way better with those steep lips. So yeah. he started riding the 20, and it just like I imagined, he's fucking that guy, bro. Just roosting. Didn't he win both events, Posh and Caddy? I think he won higher at both at both trails. He's another guy. I was like, this I didn't know who. I didn't recognize his name, but I, as he's soon as you said biker. Cody, I was like, Gessler. He's a mountain I, biker. I was like, oh, my God, I've never heard of that guy. He's a mountain he, biker with the craziest trail style ever, and now he's on 20, and he went east side. He destroys that place. Now he went to the posh, one higher. He's legitly a fucking 20-inch rider now. That's cool. Yeah. You fucking rip both, <laughs> you can rip both of them. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, exactly. The just, only one ever. Because a lot of people go from BMX to mountain bikes, but. It's harder. Rarely you ever see anybody go from mountain bikes to 20 inch, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, it's true. Seminar. Seminar put a BMX at it. Seminar. I've rode street in San Francisco with Brandon, and we're doing like this. Oh, Everyone's yeah, trying this manual 180 through this little dish thing we found at a playground, and he did it before, like, we were with oh, all yeah. these pros, and he was yeah. like the second one to do it. You know, he's and insane. I was like, yeah. oh shit, he's better than us at BMX. Well, yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, this guy. He's, pro- he's probably fucking good at everything. He's really Yeah, good. he's just fucking got a great vocabulary, you know, like <laughs> one of those one of those guys, like, oh, how are you fucking smart and. He kind of reminds great me of Rob Wise, like, kind of quiet and just like, yeah, just, knows just his fucking shit. great. Yee. Brad Sims came to the, the mountain biking with us, I think, the first or second time Christian took us up there, and Brad has all those dreads, and the helmet didn't fit. And oh, yeah, yeah. Just like Rob, Brandon's like, I'll fix right. that. And he got his, like, <laughs> his jigsaw out and built a, put a square in the back of the helmet and fit it perfectly to Brad's dreads. Amazing. Like, nice. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's cool as hell. Burns, I'd like to give shout-out to uh, Chase Hawk for the Burn Slow yeah. shirts you yeah. get me. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, best fucking material of all time. There you go. Hell Plug. Yeah. He's got this sweater he gave me. It's fucking so awesome. It feels so great. And then these shirts, you know, a lot of people send me shit, you know, and I don't really wear them all because you I like what you actually like. I like this shit that feels good. And this guy nailed it. So shout out to you, Chase Hawk. Good job. Love you. Thank you for the package. Oh yeah. He named his kid Dennis too. Did you know that? Yeah. Named him after me. What? No, nah, just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I've been giving him shit for that. I, I, I left a comment on his Instagram. That'd be cool. Like, you could name your kid Hawk. Oh, there you go. That would be a cool That's name. Sick. That's what he should have named his kid. Hawk I know, Hawk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he thinking? Wait, uh, wait he should have named it Mike. <laughs> Mike Hawk. Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, that joke rarely comes up. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know what that is, Mike Hawk. That's when Hucker takes his break. Some dude, some dude at the grocery store was like, "Oh, what's up, bro? You right? You skateboard?" And he's like, "You look like Tony Hawk." I'm like, "Oh, I'm his brother, Mike." And oh. He's like, "Oh, Mike Hawk." I'm right. like, Yeah, yeah, that's right. Me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Tommy Hart or Carrie uh, Lee. Carrie Lee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get they get Carrie Hart and Tommy Lee confused with me. I'd be walking down like Main Street, like, "What up, Tommy Hart?" I'm like. Hell yeah! What's yeah, up? I'm somewhere yeah, in that world, enough. but yeah, whatever. Have a great day, bud. <laughs> uh, life's a trip. Funny fucking shit. Well, I don't have any more questions. Yeah, we no, actually we... did. I looked through the questions. I was like, dude, we hit all of them. Yeah, like so. No, I appreciate so, it. Uh, so you basically take care of the kids, and then when they get at two, what? And then at, like they get done at like one or two, and then what do you do? What school? 
Well, like every day? Just, every day. Just, I mean, just um, getting the full, <laughs> every day. full circle. Uh, First question. Day. Well, my son, he's kind of doing his own thing. But um, I, I'm helping my you wife. You watch a lot of TV? My, my wife is just fucking killing it. And I've always took care of her her whole life, and I've really never made her work. She really kind of model with this and that. You know, models kind of make money. But, um, but she got into this career about five years ago, um, and she was grinding and grinding and grinding. Nothing was really coming from it. And then... And then she just stuck with it and she's worked hard and now she's just fucking blowing up. That's and cool. she's got so much work and so many people to make happy. And I'm dressing up in fancy fucking outfits and, you know, I have a cool personality. So I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm taking pictures of everybody at these events and I'm fucking running errands and I'm dropping the, a lot of it's, a lot of it's relationships and, and, um, you know, with her business, a lot of it's just friendships. Being personable. And personable yeah. and present and, um, and just helping and just, you know, follow ups. And so I'm helping her with 140 agents, um, that's and it. that's it. She's yeah. got me busy. Wow. So we're, there's a, we're there's a lot of BMXers that are like that. Like I think Foster did the same thing. Like Foster supported the family for, yeah. you know, 15 years, 20 years, whatever it was in the beginning. And he's like, my wife's got a job opportunity back here. Yeah. Like she's going to take over. Same for Mike Perenni. Yeah. who was in 2000 X games too. I was like baby Perenni in that, in that video. And then, uh, Losi, you know, Losi moved to North Carolina. Cause he's like, it's my wife's turn. Like she has a career Nothing opportunity and, and I'm going to, I'm going to, Take the sacrifice and let it's her not roll a man's with it. World. So. You'd share. Yeah. So God share bless. The, yeah. Share the opportunity. God bless. Yeah. yeah. So cool. <laughs> Dennis, I appreciate the uh interview uh podcast with you guys. Mm-hmm. Ryan Fudger, you as well. Mm-hmm. Like I said, this will probably be the last one I ever do. Until we invite you back you next time. Yeah, I want yeah. you to come back. Unless I unless you want me to do one for Dennis, I'll do I'll be the guy that does him all the questions. There we go. Time. He's I'm a, down. Yeah. I literally would do anything like that with you. Yeah. You're the man. Talking I love to you so much. You guys so easy. You're the best, dude. Thanks for everything. Thanks for taking me under my wing when I was a little kid. Like I said, we were in Compton and didn't know me at all, and you just hooked me up with that's that. amazing. That's such a cool story. And then later I we're never, sponsored together, sharing boy. rooms in Germany. It's like, dude, you're like a hero of mine. 100%. And when your heroes are actually as cool as you think they are, yeah. you you surpass that. And you made me hate White Sox. <laughs> Fuck White Sox. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? Won that's our since? motto. I hate White Sox. We went on a trip one time. We went a hotel room, and he's he's a random as fuck he's brushing his teeth for like an hour just, <laughs> we had nothing to do we're just kind of stuck in like some, some third world country and he's just like i brush my teeth and he just brush and brush and brush and then he's like he looks at me he's like, like this is toothpaste kind of falling down he's like i fucking hate white socks I'm like, I'm like me too i hate white socks too and then it's just stuck so every time i talk, haven't talked to him for a while i just text him I'll be like hey white socks yeah you literally just out of nowhere one time we hadn't talked to him like six months he's like i fucking hate white socks. Uh, and it's stuck i'll never forget it so random so You're the best, man we're gonna be friends for life and you live in san diego and 100%. so do i san diego's a big place people forget that yeah it is true people are like you don't ever see Corey. i'm like well when josh lived in oceanside i never saw him either I know. that's my other best friend i know, you know? Yeah. i know so, we'll get happens. together we will yeah. we always will yeah. Come to the dinner sometimes. See, 100%. See Nick, Nick Long see wants, wants you to come ride the trails. So Did you go ride those that night? I, I did. I haven't been either. He oh, says he wants to do a Halloween jam thing or something. Okay. So maybe, want to do that? maybe we'll do that. So yeah. that'd be I cool. I rode so. dirt jumps in a long time. Yeah. That'd be sick. I want to go out in the desert with you too. You'd know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already been brought up on the. Uh, <laughs> they know. They know. Unclicked. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thanks for listening. Our Thank BMX, you, Ryan Fudger, Corey Nastasio. Hell, apparently he's a legend. I think he's just killing it hard as fuck. He is a legend. He's gonna shout be- out peace and love, peace and love. He is a legend. It's hard saying that though because to me he's still just fucking it up. He's not even like legend is someone who's like over here. Nah, he's, you could be ah. a li- you could be a living legend. You could well, be yeah, a fucking yeah. shredding legend. I appreciate early it. morning legend. When what? Wa- shit. When was the earliest? What's the earliest you've ever done a, a double flip? Like nine a.m. Oh yeah, <laughs> to, to that was your, one of my questions. To answer your, to answer your one question, everything you see me put out happens. Like pr- pretty much like it, like I'll do it and then I'll post it right away. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's never old. Yeah. Nothing I put out is old. Anything that's happening is happening like within five minutes from doing it. Hell yeah. Only because I and I don't I throwbacks. I I don't want to do throwback. Yeah. Fuck the throwbacks. Yeah. I want to show you what I'm doing today. Fuck yeah. Right the fuck now. I just did this. I just drove. I just spent my last twenty bucks here, but fucking <laughs> it's all out there. Like this is what we're doing for the love of it, man. That's it. Yeah, just to fucking for the love of it. Hundred percent. Earliest yeah, double flip. Earliest double flip. Uh. Four seven. Fuck. No. Oh my way, god. Dude. Four seven. Oh no my way. god. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I think I'm the oldest person in the world to do, and I wanted to do this, but I'm not that kooky like uh, some people. But they put uh, world's first. Yeah. Nobody ever. World's mentioned. oldest. World's oldest. World's oldest. <laughs> world's oldest <laughs> devil fucking flip. When, <laughs> whoever, whoever, whoever. World's <laughs> earliest and oldest double Listen, flip. You should double flip every birthday just to keep doing it. I have been. Like Biz does a hop whip. I have been. That's sick. But if, if that's fucking insane. You guys. Yeah. If anybody out there is 42 years old and does double flips on a BMX bike, let me know. 
fuck. Let me know. That's, I, I mean, you never know, but I don't think anyone is else there is. there any? You, you never know. The I world's know. a big I, place. I know. But if you're doing it, then no, I don't think 42. so. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I think you're going to film know. it, right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. <laughs> you're not just doing it for fuck's sake. If there's some dude out there doing double flips without filming it who's 42, we got to get him yeah. in here. Right. <laughs> right. We got to talk right. to him. Right. That right. Cool yeah. Fuck. Hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Hell yeah, Corey. Yeah. I appreciate it, boys. You're Thank the best, you. dude. Thank you. Yes. Hell yeah. I love you. You're the best.